hello welcome to let me bore you to sleep my name is jason newland today is monday the 28th of october 2024 it is 4 46 p.m in the afternoon this is Monday Boring Objects and Vinny is hunting a fly. Hunting a fly. So I expect he is going to be jumping all around the place for the duration of this recording. So what I thought I would do, I mean this might not really come under the category of Boring Objects but do an online IQ test. I've just got it in my mind that I'm going to be doing. I'm going to do quite a few different like personality tests online, and just just for fun, just for a giggle and a fart, you know. So I thought I would do that, an online IQ test. <sighs> so I don't know what ones there are I've done a few in the past always came out really low <laughs> I mean the fact that I've just spelled IQ with an I and a G shows you uh, where I am with the not good start is it so best online IQ test okay if I do three because it has to be free not paying for it Oh, hi, uh, this is test-iq.org. So I've done IQ tests in the past. I don't... Mm. I mean, I was re reading this book, well, listening to a book earlier called Grit. That's it, it's called Grit. And let me tell you who it's by. Just I'm going to mention stuff. I should give you references, really, shouldn't I? It's called Grit, and it is by... Oh, blimey. i got no idea who it's by. Grit. Grit. Next up. Why is it not letting me look? Grit by Angela Duckworth. So I'm on chapter five. So I've been reading that or listening to it rather. It's still reading, isn't it? Oh, I phoned up my. Um, I'll, I'll, let's, I'll try and stick to that. So it was talking. It basically is talking about those that succeed are the people that kind of put the most effort in really it's about effort it's about grit it's about really you know going for it and some of the most successful people in history haven't necessarily had an a high iq some of those people have had less of an iq than you need to get into some universities in the world so it wasn't just iq that makes someone successful or maybe a genius, if you want to call it that. And it's it's quite interesting talking about how people... I was watching some videos as well. And I've known a few people that were in the past who really believed that they were cleverer than everyone else. I've met a few people like that. Um, I've met lots of people that thought they were cleverer than me. 100% of the people that I meet, really. <laughs> they all think... No, that's, I think um, I've met a few people that are really like, you know, I've got an I high IQ, I am a genius. It's like, okay, what are you doing with that geniusness of your, that you got inside you? Where, what's your, what are you using your genius for? Are you... Uh, what What major world issue are you solving what problem are you solving to make the world a better place 
with your genius. Oh, you're not. You work in an office. Do it. Nothing wrong. Nothing wrong with working in an office. I've done it myself. But to proclaim, I am a genius. Oh, that's me with a cigar. It's out of one side of my mouth. You can't see it, and I'm waving my hands around. I'm a genius. That that's now smoking the cigar. <laughs> it's a cartoon character base, isn't it? I don't think anyone s sounds like that. I mean, Bugs Bunny. What's up, Dick? Anyway, so... What on earth am I talking about? So I just... I remember once I said... I don't know what I said, but... I wasn't telling the person I was a genius, but they lost it. You saying you're a genius, and it really triggered them. I don't know what that was about. I mean, of course I wasn't saying I'm a genius. I never thought that. Clearly. I'm definitely not from an IQ perspective. I am... <laughs> not from any perspective. If anything, I'm the opposite. Um, special needs, which is what I would be under when I was at school. I would have been special needs, but we didn't have those. It was just dunces. Dunces, medium, well, no, it was like the clever kids, the above average, the average, below average, low, and then me. That's where I was. I was right at the bottom. And, oh, my stomach just gurgled. I just, my stomach just did a fart. That was weird. An internal fart. Didn't know that was possible. But now I know I am delighted so I opened up this BMI IQ test and it's opening up very very slowly I just don't want it to be one of these tests that I do I spend 10 minutes or 20 minutes doing and then it says now send 1999 to get your results get ready to start you have 20 minutes to answer the following 20 questions Choose the appropriate shape A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D, E, or F to replace a shape that is missing, the one with the question mark on it. How am I supposed to get a good mark in this test if I don't actually understand the, the rules? 20 minutes, you've got a following question. Choose the appropriate shapes A, B, C, D, E, or F, okay. To replace the shape that is missing, okay. The one with the question mark on it, okay. You can skip questions, skip questions, and return back to them later. Good luck. Okay, here we go. Start the test. Uh, <laughs> Twenty minutes. Blimey! Oh god, it's nineteen fifty. What do you got? I have to have a clock there. <sighs> one out of twenty. Right. One. One. One, 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 one. Okay, Ooh, there you go. Next one, two of twenty. One. Okay, that one's easy. Well, I thought it was easy, but I can't. This I haven't got the right one available. That's not right. Da 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 da. Ah, uh, probably that one. So eighteen thirty-three left. Yeah, twenty. If this goes really bad, which I think it is already, I'm going to blame it on my eyesight. Okay. Okay. All right. 
number four. I know you can't see the screen, but I'm struggling myself, so don't worry. This is what I did in my exams, though. I just like just random, just press stuff. I didn't even look at the answers. I just like all the questions. I just clicked on B, C, D, whatever. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, next one, 5 out of 20, 1729, okay, so, that's pretty obvious, okay, so next one, will this be the whole IQ, or are they going to ask me other things? Brain Metrics Initiative. Okay, okay, right. I phoned up the uh, Open University. I was going to cancel my course, and they talked me into staying. They said uh, they'd miss me too much. So I just thought, okay. Right, this one, this one, this one, da, 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 da. Oh, blimey, I've got no idea. This one. One. I mean, this might be a case of just putting one up that isn't already on there. I might just do that. There's one that isn't on there, so I'll just do that, hey. So, 7 out of 20, uh, 16 minutes left. Da, 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 da. Da, da, da. Why do birds suddenly pee every time? You are near one hmm 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 Ah go there eight out twenty fifteen twenty four so do 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 eat That's easy this was really easy Okay next one nine out of twenty Okay, I'm just guessing now. Uh, 10 out of 20, 38, 37, 35, 32, 28, 23, 17, 10. Why am I doing this? Why? Why? Why am I doing this? I don't understand. Why? 38, 30. Oh, only listen when you can safely close your eyes, by the way, in case I didn't say it earlier. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12. Okay, so it's three, blimey. It's easy, three, three, three. One, three, five, one, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two. Okay, blimey. 11, 20, 4, 5, 7, 11, 19, 35, 67, 131. Uh -huh. So four times five, four take away five is seven. <laughs> Got 12 minutes, 46 seconds to do 11. Blimey. I thought I was doing well. Now time is running out, baby. Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So four, five. Okay, right. Eight. Sixteen. Hmm. One. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. Sixteen, thirty-two, sixty-four, sixty-four, hundred and thirty-two, one thirty-one, hundred and thirty-two. So it's a hundred and sixty-three. <laughs> no, hundred thirty-one, sixty. Oh, come on. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Why can't I get a calculator? It's not fair. It's not fair, man. Five, seven. That's weird. That's strange. And now I'm running out of time. That's weird. That doesn't make sense. I could do it with a calculator. Easy. I'm trying to add it up. I know what it is. I know what the pattern is. I'm just trying to work it. Add it up. <laughs> I'm trying to add it up, man. One, two, three. Uh, yeah, well, it's got to be that one because it's over 300. So 12 to 20 patterns, patterns, patterns. There, there. Oh, uh, uh, uh. So next one, 13, 20. Okay, I'm just about on target now. Do <laughs> Okay, you're right, so that's that's an easy one. 15 out uh, 20, got 8 minutes, 21 minutes, tw eight, 8 minutes, 20 seconds, 18 seconds. 
yeah, so they, they talked me into staying, not talked me into staying on the Open University course, but sort of offered me some support and stuff. So this one isn't quite as easy. Not quite as easy. But I'm going to go there. So 16 and 20, or 7 minutes 40 seconds. 16 out of 20, so da, 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 da. These are like crosses. Two crosses in the corner, two crosses in the opposite corner, then two, then two, then two. Then two, then two, then two, 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 two. But does it go up? That's the question. I guess that's my question. Where does it start? I guess if it starts at the beginning again, then that would be it. Yeah, I've started at the beginning. Okay, done. 17 to 20, 1, 4, 7, 10, 13, 16, 19, 22. 1. See, these are easy, but I'm not very good at adding up. <laughs> That's the problem. So I, I, know, I can see the patterns. I just, just you know. Uh, that was easy. Eighteen twenty. Do 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 do. Ooh. So yeah, so, so. Nineteen now twenty. So six minutes. Nineteen and twenty. Uh uh. Uh uh. Uh uh. Uh, 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 okay, that seems like an obvious one. 20, 20, 5 minutes, 42 seconds. Oh, will I do the last one? It doesn't really matter because the, the results are going to be awful, blimey. Uh, uh, oh, that was so easy. Finish. Please wait while we calculate results. Why do birds suddenly appear whenever you are here? Impressive. Okay. Of course. Of course. You completed the test in 40 minutes, 34 seconds. That's faster than 97% of people tested. Your strongest category is spatial orientation, where you scored higher than 99% of people tested. Well done. Now get the results and discover, discover how high your IQ is. Please follow the steps below to instantly get your IQ, personal BMI, IQ certificate and BMI performance result. It guaranteed I'm going to have to pay. I'm going to have to pay you bastards. <laughs> Excuse my language. That is ridiculous. Your accurate high score code. Oh man, that's not fair. That's what I said right at the beginning, isn't it? But that's what I don't want. That's what I don't want. I don't want that. One pound ninety-five. Your three-day trial costs only one pound ninety-five. Your trial ends on Thursday, October the thirty-first. £49.99 every two months after the trial. Okay, so if I click on get my IQ results, nope, money. Money, 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 money. This isn't fair. Because I don't know if it's a legitimate. They might just do that for everyone. There might just be a standard page saying, you completed this. Impressive, you completed the test. 40 minutes, okay, it's going to have a different time, I guess, but that's faster than 97% of people. Your strongest category is spatial orientation, 
where you scored higher than 90% of people's... Okay, so I'm going to save that page because I'm going to do a little bit of research to find out if it's a legitimate a legitimate website. So I'm going to add that. Well done. Right, good. Oh, that's strange. So I thought it would let me know. Sometimes they do, like, they'll give you a score... Well, I'm just going from previous things. And then they're like, well, if you want more information, more information, we can tell you more. And the final IQ score evaluation, your accurate IQ score calculated using millions of BMI data points across all age groups. I don't know what that means. See? See? One pound ninety five. Over three point five million users across the world use BMI certified IQ tests to discover the IQ score with ninety eight percent satisfaction rate. So two percent think it's rubbish. <laughs> They're very unhappy. Three point five million users. Okay, so what you what you're telling me is my spatial orientation is ninety nine percent. I scored higher than 99% of 3.5 million people. Can't argue with that. Unless, of course, you can. Skeptical about the price, but it's worth it. It is. This is the um, custom reviews. I was initially skeptical about the cost, hoping for free results. But after making a payment and reviewing the breakdown, I found it to be well worth the money spent. I just love that I know, I now know what I need to work on. And this is a motive for me to try it again. While the certificate with my name on was a nice touch, it was truly the assessment report and the detailed breakdown of my performance that made the price worthwhile. Vinny, Vinny. Uh, apparently Joe Rogan shared this test on Instagram. Joe Rogan shared his BMI IQ test score on his Instagram. And when I saw it, I decided to try it myself and see how st how I stack up. I took the test in less than 10 minutes and got my results straight after payment. Um, in less than 10 minutes, show off. I don't like that person, do you? Uh, BMI free IQ test demo. No, I'm, I'm I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit. I don't know if it's real or not. I'm guessing it might be a complete fake. So, if I want to put the word genuine, because you know the internet's really good at stuff like that. So, if I put in genuine, genuine. In fact, I'm going to go to ChatGPT and see if they have been. They can recommend something. Can you recommend? An accurate. Free. IQ test. Online. Let's have a look. Finding a free IQ test that's both reliable and accurate can be challenging as most scientifically validated tests are paid or administered by professionals. However, there are some online options that can give a general sense of IQ, although they may lack the full rigor mortis of more of a formal test. Here are a few options. So there's the Mensa practice test. Mensa offers an online practice test, which is not the official Mensa test, but can provide an approximation of your IQ range. It's not entirely free, but it's very low cost and gives a decent estimation. Next, 123 test. This site offers a free IQ test based on a variety of cognitive tasks, such as pattern recognition and logical reasoning. Although it's a, short, <laughs> although it's a shorter test, it does provide some insight into your abilities. Then there's IQtest.com. This test provides a score at the end without a charge. 
though it doesn't include a detailed report unless you pay for it. And then number four is freeiqtest.net. It's a quick test that is straightforward and while not the most comprehensive, it's free and provides a general IQ range. Has it got a link on them? No. So what I'll do is I'll try I'll try one, two, three test first. I won't do the Mensa one because it's not free. So that's what it just said, isn't it? So let's have a look. Take free tests that take you further. Here we go. This will be handy to have. I'm going to, hold, I'm going to save this on a bookmark it because I want to do more tests in the future. Just for fun, really. It's all I'm doing it for. And, you know, to uh, try and build some kind of positive self image, probably as well. Our story, whenever they're being me, it's a career. Personality test, career test. I, who wants me to do a personality test? <laughs> so, I, let's do the IQ test first, and maybe I'll just do a cheeky little sneaky personality test. Okay, take a quick demo IQ test of the Pro Certification Admissions IQ test of the International High IQ Society, or our classical intelligence test to get a taste of what a full IQ test is like. Instant results and no registration required. When you complete a free IQ test, you get an IQ score estimate on the number of questions you answered correctly. Culture fair intelligence test and classical intelligence test. I don't know what's the difference. What's the difference between that? So for those wanting to do this themselves at home, it's called 123test.com. And it gives you an option. I mean, it's forward slash IQ dash test forward slash. But there's a list of tests. Oh, so what I'll do is I'll... Classical... I don't understand. What's the difference? What is the difference? Non-verbal, great for non-English natives. Okay, so the culture fair intelligence test is is for people good for non-English natives. So I might do that one. Or okay, let's just do the classic one. So start the test for free. Oh, there's no time. There's no timing. That's good. Phew. So, synonyms. Which answer expresses the meaning of a specific word best? Okay. Reassuring. So, comforting. Next. Number series. Which number logically follows this series? Four, six, nine, six. What? What? Four... Four, six, nine, six, fourteen, nineteen. So it's four, six, nine, six, fourteen, six, nineteen. So okay, next figure series. Which of the figures in the bottom row should logically? Which of the figures in the bottom row should logically be in the spot of the question mark? <laughs> I can't even read the sentence. It's the glasses, really. Which of the figures in the bottom row should logically be in the spot of the question mark in the top row? Okay, right, got it. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. So, syllogism, which, syllo, I don't know what syllogism is. Which conclusion follows from a statement with absolute certainty? Number one. None of the stamp collectors are an none of the stamp collectors is an architect. All the drones are stamp collectors. Which conclusion follows from the statements with absolute certainty? All the drones are stamp collectors. All the drones or drones? 
none of the stamp light is an architect. So I'll just go for two. Where is it? Bon. None of the stamp collectors is an architect. I didn't even said R at R and R. Which conclusion follows a statement with absolute certainty? Right, none of the stamp collectors are an architect. All the drones are stamp collectors. Right, okay. Architects are not drones. A little while to understand what the question was with that one. Huh. Cube. What does the result... It was just formatted differently in a really weird way and also the sentence didn't make sense. I don't think it was well-worded well English, Englishly. Englishly? Cube. What does a resulting cube look like if you fold this cube together? <laughs> fold it together how? From that, I suppose that, that. So yeah, that'd be four. Uh, four. One, four, I don't know, I'm just trying to think, it depends which way they do it, I suppose it's going to be that way isn't it, it's not going to be inward because then you won't be able to see the numbers, so if I turn that round, round, that one, so that's three, that's one, two blank bits, and next to the one is the four, on one side, and then the next Next to the one, the other side is a seven. So four, one, seven. Yeah, it'd be that one then. Good. Calculation. What is the correct answer to the following problems? Six. Okay, that's that's a number. I don't know. Six. Tom has a new set of golf clubs. Using a club eight, whatever that is, the ball travels an average distance of 100 meters using a club seven. Okay, so this is a separate sentence. Using a club seven, the ball travels an average of 108 meters. Using a club six, the ball travels an average of 114 meters. How far will a ball go if Tom uses a club five? See, my answer to that is depends how hard he hits it. I'm sorry, it's, that is the correct answer, but hey. So what are we doing? What is it? 100, 8, 8, 8, 100. See, this doesn't really make sense. Club 5, Club 8, 100 metres, Club seven one hundred and eight meters that's eight club six hundred and fourteen meters so that's six all right so club five would be hundred and fourteen hundred and eighteen meters all right which answer expresses the meaning opposite that of the specific work best which answers which answers expresses the meanings opposite of that of the specified worst word best okay tough cowardly water is to a pipe as something is to a wire water is to a pipe as is to a wire so, chord, I guess. Da, 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 da. Displeasure. Which of the meanings is the best fitting for the specified word? Displeasure. Discord. So you've got injustice, complaint, futile, sin. 
next uh, compose figure which of the below figures can be composed from loose parts da, da, da. Uh, da, 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 da. Not that one. Uh, not that one. So it's quite easy. This is actually really easy. Uh, okay, please answer the questions below. I'm saying easy. I'll probably get like zero right, but it don't matter. Please answer the questions below. Not all questions are required, but it will help us improve this test. I am a male. My age is, this is the worst part of get, about getting old, because I'm scrolling down for about an hour before I actually get to my age. 54, don't tell anyone. I am from England, or is it Britain, or is it UK? Never know. Honestly, you have to go through the whole thing. Britain, Britain, UK, United Kingdom, you, 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 or is it England? It's really difficult. The only way really to know is if you see Scotland or and then you realize, OK, it's going to be England, England, you, United Kingdom, bet you though, United Kingdom. Yeah, there we go. My education level is university test results. You have answered seven of the 10 questions correctly. That indicates an IQ score between 105 and 120. Uh, this equals a higher vocational education or university level with exercise and focus. You might be able to score higher on a real IQ test. Um, which of the answers expresses the meaning of the words? Okay, so that the first one was right, reassuring. Number two. Correct answer is 19. Yeah, got that. The second image to the left is a correct answer. Correct. Number four. Correct. Cube. That one was correct. So I got the, that one. Six was correct. Tough. Okay. Uh, which is this is what is the answer express, express the meaning opposite of that of the specified word best tough tender I suppose it's yeah tender was the correct one I'm guessing so I, I mean it's not telling me if it is or not but uh, cowardly oh tender yeah it's telling me that now I just realised because obviously if it's not if it's not cowardly it's not going to be any of the others it's got to be tender. But I was just like okay, yeah, fair enough, fair enough. I got it wrong. Water to a pipe is to a wire cord. Water to it is going to be electricity, isn't it? Obviously, yeah. There we go, the electricity. I just I didn't give it much thought. Water to a pipe is what's inside, isn't it? What's inside the wire? What's inside the pipe? Water? What's inside the wire? Electricity. Okay. Oh, look. Meaning of a word. Displeasure. I thought discord was the correct word. The correct answer is complaint. I thought discord was like meant displeasure, unhappiness, not Our discord is what can lead to displeasure. So, uh, uh, expression of displeasure can can arise from discord, but can also have another cause. My answer was incorrect. Yeah, number ten was right. That was the easiest one out of the lot. Damn you! So seven out of ten. The other ones were like silly, really. If I'd given them a bit of thought. 105 out of 120. Yeah. Wonder what other tests. Take this test. To retake this test for free, please. Why do you need to retake it? 
I'm going to get it all of them right, aren't I, if I retake it? Blimey. So here we go. Let's go back. Do you want to do a personality test? <laughs> Shall we? Shall we? Shall we? I think it might be funny. It might be funny. IQ test. Disc personality test. What is your disc? Ask it. I don't know what that is. Competency test. What are your strengths? Bench benchmark yourself on sixteen competencies, competencies, assessment training, young personality test, classical intelligence test. What is your IQ? I've already done that, haven't I? Should we do the other IQ test, the one where it's not classical? IQ test. Let's do the culture fair. Start the test free. See how we get on with this one. Because it might be harder actually. So do do do. Uh, do, 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 do. Which figure logically belongs on the spot of the question mark? That's a bit strange. Um Oh, okay. I, 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 as I say, I know what it is, but the one that they do, it's not on there. But it's because I didn't have the page all the way down. Which figure logically belongs on the spot of the question mark? There's an advert at the bottom of the page who's stopping the whole page being up. Okay, right, let's have a look. Why do birds as I appear every time? Here. Right, this is that one. I might, I think that's right. Uh, okay, which figure logically was, belongs on the spot of the question mark? Ah, oh, that's interesting. I do believe, I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. I think that's going to be... Ah, uh, okay, right, so this it's there. That's going to be there, there, there. Okay, right, that one. So next, four of eight... Which figure logically belongs on the spot of the question mark? Ba 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 be be de be de be de Oh three God these adverts are really getting in the way of the the, the page. There's no way of avoiding them. I'll keep them to keep going down and I don't like going down. One, two, three, four, one, two. Oh, blimey, that's so obvious. Uh, next one. Why do birds suddenly appear? Uh, six out of eight. Oh, there's only eight questions. Okay. I'm just guessing this to be fair. I want to go and do the personality test. I do, I do, I do. So this is, so which is the figure out logical belongings on the spot of the question mark. Um, I do believe, I do, I do, I do, I do, I do believe. Oh, that's interesting. I don't know. How? And it's clearly squares, but that ah, oh. got ya, got ya, kitty 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 got ya, dibidi di dibidi di, diddly di diddly di. No, I haven't. Okay, got ya. Got, oh no. Okay, fair enough. So that 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 that. 
so it would be yeah easy took me an hour but i got it seven of eight which figure logically belongs on the spot of the question mark this would be probably two percent more exciting if you could see the screen but for two percent <laughs> what's the point so 972,200 tests completed in the last 30 days so dear dear Where is it? Where's the right one? Come on. Oh. No. Oh, okay. Fair enough. See, this is weird because... Oh, got it. I 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 got it. La That's it. Last one. Eight of eight. That was similar to what I've done earlier. I suppose if you do enough of these, I guess it's going to be some kind of repetition along along the lines that I imagine. So IQ test 18, all tests 36. IQ 8 of 8. Okay, right. Beep, 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 beep. There's no time. I wonder if there is there a timer on it. I don't think there is. There might be a timer hidden behind the screen. So me talking is just making it a lower score. <sighs> <sighs> Uh -huh. uh, 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 uh. Okay, right, got it. It's just moved there. It's moved. I generally don't know this one. This is just. Yeah, that's strange. This is going to be a guess. It's going to be a guess. A guess you will see. A guess you will see. It's really weird. I kind of don't care. And this is strange. I used to be so interested in this. But right now, I don't see the patterns. I think I need to look at it a little bit longer. The patterns. Where's the pattern? Because the patterns don't always go in the same order. It could be moving in a different order. Okay, let's look at it from a different order. Back to front. Back to the... I mean, unless that's see-through. I suppose it could be, couldn't it? That. That. don't know this is going to be a guess it's going to be a total guess oh I know what they've done no I don't nope still don't know what they've done I'm trying to see a pattern that's the thing I'm trying to figure out a pattern that is going on here and I can't really see it um, so there's a pattern there Okay, yeah, pattern there. That's it. Fine. Pattern one, two. Okay, so, uh, uh. So, okay, I, I did have it. I did, I promise, I did have it. That was easy. So that is... I'm going to... I 
I'll be honest with you, I'm just going to make it up. That's it. Made it up. I've got no idea what that is. My age, 50, 112. See, so if I put down like three, then I'm probably going to like, well, that was pretty good for a three year old. United Kingdom. What did I get? Your IQ, what is it? The free culture fair IQ test you took was rather short. For an accurate estimate of your IQ score, a much longer, more elaborate IQ test. Blah, 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 blah. Based on your performance on the IQ test, we estimate your IQ lies between a range of 110 up to 126. That's quite low, I think. I don't know. Oh. It's not telling me if what I got right and what I got wrong, nothing like that. Oh, the other one did, didn't it? Hmm. Hmm. 110 up to 126. What's a good IQ? A good IQ. A good IQ is generally considered to be in the range of 90 to 110, which is average. Here's a breakdown of IQ scores, what they typically signify. 70 and below, considered below average. This may indicate intellectual challenges. I've definitely got intellectual challenges. That's, that's, so, it's fine. 85 to 115. Average range, most people, about 68% of the population fall into this range. 150 to 130 above average. People in this range often have strong problem solving and analytical skills. 130 to 145. High IQ scores in this range often correlate with strong cognitive abilities in areas like abstract, abstract reasoning, memory and verbal skills. 145 and above. Very high or gifted. This level of IQ is rare and is often associated with exceptionally high cognitive abilities nah, 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 nah. so shut up <laughs> so I'm meh. 110 up to 126 so I kind of above average ish yeah I'll take that what was the other one what was my other score do, do, do. Can you remember? Anyone? Anyone remember? Oh, I've forgotten. Oh well. Should we do a personality test? I want to do another IQ test now. What was the other one? The other IQ. IQtest.com. IQ test. IQ test. Take the test. Click here to test your IQ. Instructions for the IQ tell, test. You must work mentally. So well. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Um, do not use pencil or paper or a calculator during this test. Be ready to determine whether the statements that are follow are true or false. You will have to click either a true or a false button to indicate your response. The test is timed, so work quickly. Quickly. But take enough time to consider each consider each question seriously. Correct answers are more important than time. Not when you get to 54, it's not. During the test, you must read and respond to a total of 38 statements. You may take as long as you wish, but if you complete the test quickly, your score will be increased. If you are very slow, your score will be lower. So be ready to concentrate and think fast. Okay, here we go. 
The word mineral can be spelled using only letters found in the world. Can I? Can only be. Can what? Can be spelled. You know. Only the word mineral can be spelled using only the letters found in the word parliament. How is, how is that possible? There must be other words that's got the word mineral in. Hey? What do you think? The word mineral can be spelt using only the letters found. Oh, you mean all of the letters? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No. I want to go false because there's got to be other words that it could be in. The sequence, the sequence of four words, triangle. I mean, mineral can be spelt in the word parliament. Apart from the fact, min. The word mineral can be spelt using only the letters found in the word parliament. So I'm playing, I'm going false, but that's probably true, isn't it? Never mind. This sequence of four words: struggle, a triangle, glove. Clock by school responds to this sequence of numbers three, five, twelve, two. Uh, what? Okay, right. Uh, but I think triangles three. A clock has got 12. 20, no, not really. It's false. 27 minutes before 7 o'clock is 33 minutes past 5. 5. What? False. Blimey. The word because can be spelt by using the first letters of the words in the following sentence. Big elephants can always understand small elephants. The word because can be spelled by using the first letters of the words in the following sentences. Oh, yes. If written backwards, the number 1125 would be 5211. <sighs> True. Gary has only. $48. If he borrows $57 from Jane and $50 from Jill, he can buy a bicycle that costs $120, disregarding tax. Right, $57. $48. I've got to add up in my head. I'm not good at adding stuff up. 48 So let's say 50 so it's 98, 98, 108, 105, plus 15, 120, $120, okay, it's true then. If a round analog clock featuring numbers 1 to 12 is hung on the wall upside down, the minute hand will point to the right of the viewer when the clock reads 22.45. If a round on a clock features and at once the is hung upside down, the minute hand will point to the right of the viewer when the clock reads 2.45. Yes. The, the minute hand. Obviously. Um, if the word quain is understood to mean the same as the word den, then the following sentence is grammatically correct. Looking out from my quain, I could see a wolf et a quain. See, that isn't how I put it. Looking, so, looking from my den, I could see a wolf enter den. Uh, no, that just doesn't. No, 
doesn't doesn't make sense. Just is it's not a good sentence. I mean, where's the the? If Richard looks into the mirror and touches his left ear with his right hand, Richard's image seems to touch its right ear with its left hand. If Richard looks into the mirror and touches his left ear with his right hand, it looks like he's touched his left ear with his left hand. Still gonna be the right hand, isn't it? It's your left ear. You look in the mirror. It's still on the left, isn't it? Your right ear is on your right. As you look at it, it's not like it's not reversed. If you leave the letters in the same order but rearrange the spaces in the phrase them eats on it can be read as theme at sun uh yeah but it doesn't make sense next oh no it's not more each of the words auctioned how many questions is there blimey each of the words auctioned education and cautioned use the same letters Okay, wow, didn't realise that. John weighs eighty-five pounds. Jeff weighs one hundred five pounds. Jake weighs one hundred fifteen pounds. Two of them standing together on the same scales could weigh two hundred pounds. Uh, yeah, obviously. Mm -hmm. The seven vowel appearance in this sentence is no, blimey, well, yes, the seventh vowel appearing in the sentence is the letter A. The seventh vowel appearing in the sentence is the letter A. The seventh vowel is false. Oh, wait a minute. Wow. No. Nine chickens, two dogs, three cats have a total of 40 legs. Depends if they've got two legs each or four legs each. What if they've got a leg missing? Oh dear, three cats, two dogs. Uh. So it's nine chickens. Oh, that's false, isn't it? How many, how many legs? <laughs> how many legs? How many legs have the chicken got? <laughs> oh dear so how many cats is there three and five so it's 20 29 30 so that's false uh, 16 hours are one 16 hours are to one day as 20 days are on June's length I don't even understand this sentence 16 hours are to one day as 20 days are to June's length. Uh, okay, got you, yeah, fair enough, true. In the English alphabet, there are exactly four letters between letter M and letter G. In the English alphabet, there are exactly four letters between M and G. So we see a G. So was it M? G. <laughs> I try to do M and go forward. So it's true. If the word tan is written under the word sly and the word tot is written under tan, then the word sat is formally Di diagonally is formed diagonally if tan is written under the word sly okay 
tot is written under the word tan. Then the word sat is formed diagonally. So tan sat. Do 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 Tan is written west line, slow, tot is written tan, tot, tot, no, so sat, no, no, sorry, do, 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 yes, no, by removing seven letters from the word motherhood, the word home can be found. By removing seven letters from the word motherhood, the word home can be found. Do, do, one, two. So you take seven out of ten, leaves three words. So no. Mm. If a thumb is a finger, then three gloves and three shoes normally hold 35 fingers and toes. If a thumb is a finger, then three gloves and three shoes normally hold 30... What? How can a thumb be a finger? It's a finger. It's a thumb. A thumb's a thumb. Then three gloves and three shoes. Why would you have three shoes? Why would you have three gloves? So, what's that? 15, 30. I mean... Pfft. Why? If a thumb is a finger, then three gloves and three shoes... Oh, right, okay. 35 fingers and toes, so... It'd be... A thumb they're not something like the big big toe though are they so 15 10 20 5 10 15 then 5 10 15 no the words if every how hand ever can form common compound words using respectively one ever finger more One. The words every how hand ever can form common compound words using respectively one ever finger more. No, I suppose hand finger one ever. I'm just going to guess that one. Oh, not more. Really? Next? Okay, right. Fair enough. I'll go back. Oh. Each of the words, auction, education, and caution, use the same lettering. Oh, okay. If Monday is the first day of the month, the very next Saturday is the fifth day of the month. If Monday is the first of the month, is the fifth. No. Um, previous, next. Okay, three of the following numbers add to the number 31, 17, 3, 2, 19, 5. Three of the following numbers add up to the number 31, 17. Okay, so 31, then dash, dash. So 17, 3, 2, 19, and 5. So 17, 18. <laughs> okay, I won't do that. So 19, 17, so that's 26. 20, no, 26. 26. 31, nope. Oh, yes, sorry. 
So I was trying to add all of them up. Yes. Uh, Fred will be four blocks from his starting place if he travels two blocks north, then three blocks east, then three... Fred will be four blocks from his starting place if he travels two blocks north, then three blocks east, and two blocks south. Will be four blocks to two. Two. Three. One, two, two blocks south. No. Wait a minute. One, one, two. So two ahead, and then three blocks. One, two, three. Yes. The following words are the opposite of words that begin with a letter R. Unreal street graphs unwind wrong. The following words are the opposite of words that begin with the letter R. R, so unreal street grasp unwind wrong. Street. I mean, how can that be the opposite to a word that begins with R? Road? It's not the opposite, though, is it? Is a road the opposite to a street? And grasp. you got unreal, real. Unwind, rind. <laughs> uh, no. The following disregarding punctuation is spelled the same forwards as it is backwards Todd erases a red dot Todd oh two D's and Todd erases a red dot yes the letter of the word sponged appear in a reverse alphabetical order The word, let's read the word sponged appear in reverse alphabetical order. Yeah, it's true. The sponges, the numbers rather, 3 minus 7 minus 2 minus 4 minus 8 minus 1 minus 5 are read backwards as 5 minus 1 minus 8 Minus four, minus two, minus seven, minus three. Why do birds suddenly appear? The odd numbers in this group add up to an even number. 15, 32, 5, 13, 27, 7, 1. So the odd numbers. What's that? 15, 5, 13, 7, 1. Add up to an even number. Ugh. Fifteen, five, twenty, and then you got thirty-three, thirty-nine, forty. This is true. Without breaking or bending a toothpick, you can spell the word thin with exactly seven toothpicks, with no letter showing a toothpick used by another letter. With no letter sharing a toothpick. Exactly seven toothpicks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can spell it with seven. Yes, true. The sentence has 35 letters. What's it? Three. Does it class the dash as a letter though? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one. Seventeen, eighteen, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 105, 105, 105, 105, 105, 105, 105, 105, 105, 105, 105, 105, 105, 105, 105, 105
uh, a square whose side reaches 10 centimeters uh, yeah no 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 yeah but no no because 10 centimeters 10 centimeters 10 centimeters but that's not going to be 10 centimeters in the middle is it the middle bit would be five so that's false i've i got a lot of these wrong oh no not more not more six identical triangles can be formed by drawing two straight lines through an octagon's center point uh, the number 64 is the next logical number in the following sequence of numbers. 2, 14, 2, 6, 14, 30. Who? Okay, so, so, what? so that's 4... Then 6 and 18, uh, 8 is 14, 16 is 30, and 32 is 62. 8, 16, 32, so that's false. Uh, Robert is taller than John, Charlie is, Charlie is taller than Robert, therefore John is the shortest of the three. Robert is taller than John. Charlie is taller than Robert. Therefore, John is the shortest of the three. Mm. The sum of the odd numbers from 0 to 16 is an even number. The sum of an odd number from 0 to 16. The sum of the odd numbers from 0 to 16 is an even number. Uh, so look, three, one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty, twenty-three. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Okay, right, here we go. One. I got to work this in my head. I know what I know how to do it. I just don't know how to, how to add it up. I know how to add it up, but it's just you know, you know, it's got to take all the odd numbers. So one, and then three, is four, and then three plus five, is eight, and then five. Then eight plus seven is <laughs> is fifteen, and then seven. Oh my God, eight! I'm just going to guess that one. I'll be honest with you. If each of seven persons in a group shakes hands with each of the other sixteen people. Then a total of 42 handshakes occur. Six. Why do birds start? This is going to be stuck in your head now, that's all. Sorry, can't help it. I've been singing it all day, I don't know why. Pass it because I was outside and there was birds singing. <gasps> That might be the reason. If each of seven persons in a group shakes hands with each other, six. Six by, times by six, really, isn't it? That's all it is. Six by six. Three congruent regular hexagons can be drawn in such a way that all of them overlap each other and create more than six 
district areas or compartments. If a donut shaped house is two doors to the outside, three doors to the inner courtyard, then it's possible to end up back at the starting place by walk walking through all five doors of the house without ever walking through the same door twice. A donut shaped house, okay, donut shaped house. Two doors on the outside. Three doors to the inner courtyard. Then it's possible to end up back at your starting place walking through all five doors. No. Stop timer, blimey. 24 minutes. Wow. But no, they're not actually giving it to me. They're wanting money. See an example of what your profile will look like. That's crazy. Why? Why? This is not your profile as an example. Why? This is not your profile, it's an example of what a complete intelligence profile looks like. To see your profile, to see your profile, log into your account and se select the option to purchase. Right. What the sample score shows. This is... Right. So apparently this is the sample score. So it gives you an example anyway. What the sample score shows. General IQ test. Your general IQ score is 128. Shows, obviously it shows how your mind is in general. Anyone with a general IQ score this high is considered to be above average intelligence. This score is better than 96.9% .9 of all persons taking this test. Most occupations can be comprehended with a general IQ this high. You should be able to handle almost all academic challenges. You scored higher than the general IQ test in eight. Higher than your general IQ. You scored higher than your general... I can't read, can I? You scored higher than your general IQ score in eight individually ability categories. One of these better scores could be called statistically significant and may indicate special abilities or that you are distracted on those parts of the IQs that counted more heavily in the other ability categories. All right, uh, solving many of the IQ test problems require the ability to add. So this is arithmetic. Multiply and divide numbers mentally. Many mental tasks require, tasks require arithmetic arithmetical operations even though numbers may not be involved and thus number manipulation ability may can strongly indicate general intelligence your arithmetic IQ score of 137 is exceptionally higher than your general IQ score this is 98 9.32% of the person taking this test really? I think um, is this mine or is this a st <laughs> is this what the sample score shows okay right it's not me at all this is just the uh, It's not me. This is not your pro. <laughs> this is not your profile. It is an example of what a complete intellect intelligence profile looks like. Right, that'll explain it because arithmetic is not my blimey. Why did they do that? Why do they say it's free if it's not free?
ridiculous absolutely ridiculous so they want what do they want 19 pound supposed to be free man seriously it's supposed to be free so why iqtest.com why why are they charging me try and charge me I know you're trying money but come on it's me 25 minutes of my life gone my account I'm not even logged in ooh it actually has got my result 105 IQ test test quiz IQ test uh, test quiz results 105 ooh that's not good is it quiz test 105 quiz results and uh, maybe that's just the name of the test 105 Mm. Okay, right, so I'm just going to move away. Let's, let's move away from that one. I'm not happy with that. Why did it send me? A test provides a score at the end without charge, though it does include a detailed report if you pay for it. And that was iqtest.com. Maybe I didn't. iqtest.com. My account. It's 105, so I didn't do very, didn't do very well in that one. Oh, got itchy crotch. Oh, that's better. That's weird. How strange. How strange indeed. How very, very strange. So that was quite a low mark actually, 105. It makes puts me at average. Average just doesn't cut it. Um freeiqtest.net freeiqtest.net so if I just copy that why do birds suddenly appear ok copy let's see what we've got here IQ test do 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 consent to start the test the average IQ is 100 have you wondered what your IQ score is our original IQ test will give you a fast, free and accurate IQ score. Take a fast... Okay, here we go. Any date of birth. I'll do that, I don't mind. We need a valid birth date. It's August 26. Yeah, birthday cards are lovely, if you ever want to. <laughs> I got five last year. Start the test. Here we go. Verbal comprehension. One of 20. Timer. There's a timer on this one. Which of the five is likely... Which of the five is least likely the other four? Is which least like the other four? Dog, mouse, lion, snake, elephant. Okay. Proceed to question two of three, two of twenty. Blimey's adverts on this is hard. Fluid reasoning, difficulty easy. Which number should come next in the series? One one two three. One one two three five eight thirteen. One one two three. These adverts are really slow. So, 
take a deep breath and focus. Perceptual reasoning. Which of the five choices makes the best comparison? Peach is to HCAEP as 46251. Okay, 42651. Okay, proceed to question four. Mary, who is 16, this is quantitative, quanti quantitative reasoning. Mary, who is 16 years old, is four times as old as her brother. How old will Mary be when she is twice as old as her brother? Mary, 16 years old, four years older than her brother. So what's that make him four? Uh... When she is twice as old as her brother. Uh, oh. Five. Twelve. It's supposed to be easy. See my brain maths. Not being sixteen now. She's not going to be twelve, is she? <laughs> oh dear. How old has she been when she's twice his age? Uh, oh, twenty-four, I guess. I don't know. Is she's always going to be eight years older? So in eight years' time, he's going to be twelve. She'll be 24 in eight years' time. Oh, dear. So, which large shaped, which larger shape would be made if the two sections fitted together? What? Which larger shape would be made if the two sections fitted together? Okay. Right. D. Uh -huh. That's weird. Right, okay, got you, 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 you're going with that. Fair enough. That's all right. If that's how you want to play it, you want to make things more complicated. Black. Turn it around the other way. So turn it upside down, which is the one with all the white. It's that one. Why do words? Certainly, this is easy apparently. Proceed to question 6 or 20. Medium, which, this is fluid reasoning, which of the numbers does not belong in the following series? 2, 3, 6, 7, 8, 14, 15, 30. 2, 3, 6. Two, three. That's a weird one. Two, three. Ah, oh, got you. Okay. Do, do, do. Fourteen. <laughs> it's the one that's not actually written. Damn you. Oh. I guess it's thirty then, isn't it? It's thirty. So proceed to question seven of twenty. Verbal comprehension difficulty medium. Which of the five choices makes the best comparison? Finger is to hand as leaf is to Ooh. 
tree, 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 tree. A branch, though. Could it be a branch? Branch of a tree. Leaf is to a hand. So, thing is, you don't want to say tr tree because it's a branch, isn't it? A branch of a tree, a twig of a tree, a blossom, a bark. I'm going to say branch. Uh, verbal comprehension. If you rearrange the word C I F A I P C, you would have the name of a city, animal, ocean, river, country. That's weird. If you rearrange a word, uh, it's the ocean, isn't it? Uh, huh, okay. So, choose a number that is quarter of half of a fifth of 200. A quarter of a half of a fifth. All right, so a fifth of 200. So, 10% would be 200, it'd be 20. So, that's 40. Half of 40 is 20. A quarter of 20 is five. There you go. Basic. Uh, quantitative reasoning medium difficulty. John needs a 13 bottles of water from the store. John can only carry three at a time. What's the number? <laughs> What's the... Ah. <laughs> uh. What's the minimum number of trips John needs to make to the store? Okay. Da, 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 da. It says here four and a half. Blimey. Uh, fluid reasoning difficulty. If all bloops, if all bloops are razzies, and all razzies are lazies, all bloops are definitely lazies. D D D D D D Verbal com comprehension. Choose the word most similar to trustworthy. Okay. I'm not going to read them out because we want to. We be in time. We are. Right. Verbal communication. If you rearrange your letters L N G E D N A, you have the names of what rearrange the numbers to ocean city state country animal Ooh, I don't know I'm gonna say probably city but gin Uh, I can't see. My brain's not working. Looking to do there. Okay. So, next question 14 and 20. Embrace the challenge. Fluid reasoning. Which one of the numbers does not belong in the following series? 1, 2, 5, 10, 13, 26, 29, 48. 1, 2, One, two, thirteen, twenty-six, right, twenty-nine. So next one. Ralph likes twenty-five, but not twenty-four. He likes four hundred but not 300. He likes 144, but not 145. He sounds like a really annoying guest, doesn't he? A really annoying dinner guest. Which does he like? 10, 50, 124, 200, 
or 1,600? Um, to be fair, I don't really see the, the logic in that one. I guess it's because it's... It's fluid reasoning. Maybe I don't have fluid reasoning. Which does he like? Da da da. He likes twenty five, but not twenty four. 400 but not 300, 144 but not 145. Uh, we'll just go 1600. He sounds like a bit of a knob. So we go 1600. You're going to like that, aren't you, Ralph? Ralph, do you like 1600? Okay, give me a nod. What about 200? Does anyone care what you like? I don't care what you like. He likes 400 but not 300, 25 but not 24, 144 but not 145. This is probably obvious but I can't really see it to be honest. I'm just going to make it up. Next, think clearly and act wisely. How difficulty? How many four-sided figures appear in the diagram below? How many four-sided figures? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve. Bloody hell, this is hard, hard work. One, two, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, and that's not one of the options. Sixteen, okay. Fluid reasoning, hard. What is the missing number in a sentence below? One, eight, twenty-seven, hundred twenty-five, two hundred sixteen. How am I supposed to know that? Uh, 125, 6, 2, 225, 216. So that's 8. 8 down to 1. So probably looking at... Right, number 18. Which of the following things is the least like to the others? Poem, novel, painting, statue, flower. Du, du, du. Category, perceptual reasoning. Uh, which of the figures below the line of drawing best completes the series? Oh, uh, oh, uh, do, 
do, do. This is hard. This is hard. Two, one. Okay, that's what we do. Go for that one. And then last one. Which of the following figures below the line drawings best completes? <laughs> Which of the figures below the line of drawings best completes the series? That's kind of strange though, really, to be f fair. I go there, there you go. That's it. Get results, one out of 10. That wasn't, I didn't find that particularly easy. I think I'm getting a bit tired now. You have an IQ of 122. Personalize your certificate. <laughs> no. See what the score means. 122. Okay, again. I think I've got a higher IQ than that. I don't think it's 122. I'm better than that. I'm above average. Which is always what I always used to have. Years ago when I used to do this. Above average. 15 to 129, above average intelligence, 13.6% 13, <laughs> 13 of the population. Average intelligence is 68% of the population, so I'm above, I'm above the, oh, blimey. 160, that's what I was looking for though, really. To be fair... I'd need to do something a lot more specific, wouldn't I? A lot more kind of... Because not let me know. You have an ISK IQ score of 122. So, yeah, well. I didn't really see what it's all oh, click for the questions you missed one got it correct what correct why is it so I got the first one correct Oh, right, okay, it's not letting me go. Come on, I just want to go to the next question. The advert's in the way. Literally, the advert won't let me get to the next question. That's really annoying. Oh, it's letting me get rid of the adverts, okay. Right, fluid reasoning, correct. Blimey. It's really not letting me get to the get to the to press on the next question. The next one was correct. Correct. So I know which ones I got wrong. That was correct. Right, which larger shape would be made if the two sections are fitted together? Oh, I got that one wrong. Your answer, correct answer, was do 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 because that was a spatial thing, perceptual reasoning. Okay, rather than spatial. Oh well, I think I spent enough time doing this. Don't you agree? I agree. I do agree. I think you agree. I think you might agree. You may not agree as much as I agree, but you might agree a little bit. 
Do you agree? <laughs> wow. So I've done one, two, three different IQ tests. And I've come up. Well, actually, one I came up like 105, so that's very low. Really bad. I still wanted to, I want to do that personality test. Shall we quickly do that? Shall we? What was that on? One, two, three test, I think. One, two, three, one, two, three test. One, two, three test. Personality. Wait a minute. Did I? Is it free though? Is that the one that costs me money? Free test that you can take further. It can take you further. Right, personality test. To the test. Instructions. Big five personality tests contain 120 statements. Wow, that's a lot, isn't it? There are no time limits, people. Most people take about 15 minutes. Please allow yourself plenty of time. Please respond to all of the statements and answers in sequence. Double check that you have made the right choice. If you need to change an answer, simply select a diaper. No, the new response and the incorrect response will diaper or disappear. Try not to use the neutral option too often. Describe yourself as you generally are now, not as you wish to be in the future. Describe yourself as you honestly see yourself in relationship to other people of the same sex and of roughly the same age. Your spontaneous answer is usually the most accurate. Okay, for each statement, limit adverts, so many adverts here. If you strongly agree, the statement is definitely true. Okay, here we go, I can figure it out. I am all... Strongly disagree, strongly agree. Right, dash, dash. I make friends easily. Eh. I have a vivid imagination. Eh. I trust others. No. I, compl I complete tasks successfully. No. I get angrily easily. Eh. <laughs> mm, depends. I really enjoy large parties and parties. No, no, no. I think art is important. Not really. I, I, I do for other people and it's not for me. Maybe this is art. Is it? I don't know. I'd sometimes, I think it is, but not too, too late. Yeah, usually. Sometimes deceiving others to get my own way. Nope. I don't try and do that. I don't like things to be a mess. I like to tidy up. Nope. I often feel sad. Yep. I like to take charge of situations and events. I like to be in charge of my own life. I experience deep and varied emotions. Yes. I love to help others. Nope. Yeah, I do. I always keep my promises. Not necessarily. I try to, but it depends. I find it difficult to approach others. Pretty much, but not 100%. I'm always busy, always on the go. Not really. I prefer variety to routine. Nope. I love a good argument, a good fight. Nope. I work very hard. Nye. Not really sure. I will indulge. I will overindulge at times. Sometimes. I love excitement. Nope. I enjoy reading challenging books and articles. Yep. I believe that I am better than others. Nope. I always. I am always prepared. Semi-am, semi-am, I panic easily, okay, yeah, I'm a really cheerful person, semi, I'm not quite a cheerful person, I'd say, I would say middle, in the middle, because I'm also really not, I tend to support progress and reform, yeah, I like, pro uh, I'm going to put in the middle there, I don't know, I sympathise with the homeless, of course, I am very spontaneous, I act without thinking, Generally not. I fear for the worst. Mm. I feel comfortable around people. Nope. I enjoy wild fights of fantasy. 
Yeah, sometimes. I believe that most that people basically have good intentions. I want to. When I do something, I always do it well. Nope. <laughs> I get irritated easily. Yeah. I always chat to lots of different people at parties. I don't go to parties. I see beauty in things that others might not notice. I got no idea. I don't mind cheating to get ahead. Nope. Sometimes I delight dislike myself. Yep. I try to be in charge I try to be in charge to lead others. Nope. I am empathic, I feel others' emotions. Nope. I am concerned about others. Yep. I tell the truth. Yep. I am afraid to draw attention to myself. Eh. I never sit still, I'm always on the go. Nope. I prefer to stick with things I know. Yep. I shout and yell at people. No. I do more than what's expected of me. Yeah. I rarely overindulge. Eh. I go out of my way to seek adventure. No. I avoid philosophical discussions. No, I don't avoid that. I think highly of myself. No. I get the job done and carrying out my plans. In the middle. Don't always. I become overwhelmed by events. Mm. I have a lot of fun. Nope. I believe that is no I believe that there is no absolute right or wrong. Yeah, it's, it's a that's a hard one. I'm gonna put in the middle there or at least like yes. Because everyone's right isn't could be another person's wrong, but there is some absolute rights and wrongs. Uh, so I'm going to go down on that one. I feel sympathy for those who are worse off than myself. Yep, I make rash decisions. Oh yeah, I'm afraid of many things. Hmm. I avoid coming into contact with people if I can help it. Yep, I love to daydream. Yeah. I trust what people say. No. I handle tasks methodically. Yep. I frequently lose my temper. Not really. Um, I prefer to be alone. Yep. I do not like poetry. No, I'll go in the middle on that one because I do like... I like poetry sometimes. I sometimes take advantage of others. Nope, not if I can help it. I sometimes leave the place in a mess. Oh, yeah. I sometimes am down in the dumps. Oh yeah. I take control of situations. Yep. I really notice my emotional reactions and feelings. That's untrue. Uh, I'm very much quite aware of my... Well, usually. I'm indifferent to the feelings of others. Sometimes. Yeah. Not indifferent. I just don't know them. Uh, I break rules. Try not to. I only really feel comfortable with friends. Nope. I do a lot in my spare time. Mm, in the middle there. No, not really. I dislike changes. Yep. I insult people. I do. I don't mean to, though. So I'm going to go just below. I do just enough biz work to get by. In the middle. I really resist temptations. Not really. I mean, uh, sort of. Mm, I enjoy taking risks. No. I have difficulty understanding abstract ideas. I'm not sure. I have a high opinion of myself. No. I waste my time. Yeah, I do that. I feel that I'm unable to deal with things sometimes. I love life. Uh, I believe laws should be strictly enforced. Yep. I am not interested in other people's problems. Pretty much. I rush into things. Sometimes I do. I get stressed out easily. I keep others at a distance. I like to get lost in thought. Yep. I distrust people. I know how to get things done. Fairly do. I'm not easily annoyed. Yeah, not, not really. I avoid crowds. I do enjoy going to art galleries. Which, nope. I sometimes am uncooperative. I hinder other people's plans. Mm, semi, I suppose. Not that I really have plans and stuff. I leave my bits and pieces and belongings around. Yep. I feel comfortable with myself. 100%. I 
I wait for others to take the lead. Nope. I don't understand people who get emotional. Uh, semi. I mean, sometimes people, the reason they're getting emotional. I understand emotions. I mean, I have emotions sometimes. I don't have time for other people. Pretty much, to be fair. I make a bit of time, but not sure. I sometimes break my promises. I try not to. I'm not bothered by difficult social situations. No. I react slowly. I'd say yes, most of the time. I can react quickly, though. I'm attached to conventional ways. Yeah. I always even a score of others. Nope. I sometimes put little time and effort into my work. Yeah, sometimes. I'm able to control my cravings. Yeah. I mean, pretty good with the sugar, so... I like... Action and danger, no. I'm not interested in theoretical discussions. I'm not into, that's false, I am. I like theoretical discussions. I like to talk about my qualities. I love to talk about myself. I have difficulty starting tasks. I remain calm under pressure, nope. I look at the bright side of life. Eh, in the middle there. I believe that we should be, that we should be tough, very tough on crime. Yeah, kind of. Okay, and not quite at the top there. Try I try not to think about the needy. No, I don't try not to think about it. I act without thinking. Occasionally, sometimes, I suppose. Background questions. I am male, my age is hundred and ninety four. Fifty four. I am from United United. United Kingdom, Kingdom. My education level, level. You are taking this test purely. I'm going to put uh, for areas for insight. For insight into yourself, I'll do that. What is your current employment status? Um, I'm officially unemployed. I'm retired. Out of okay, long term illness. Do you have a paid job? No. Next. Here we go. Big five personality types. Okay. Openness to experience. The five, the big five personality test offers a concise measure of the five major factors of personality as well as the six facets that define each factor. Factor scores gives a broad global description of an individual. Facet scores describe in more detail the specific traits of, per of personality that make up the broad global description. So, openness to experience, 15. Conscientiousness, 2. I thought I'm quite a conscientious person, maybe not. Extroversion, 1. Agreeableness, 26. Natural reactions, 96. Wow. So, openness to experience is the first one. 15. Uh, describing a low-range scoring person. Traditionalist, down-to-earth, practical, conservative, prefers traditional outlooks and technical problem-solving. Range low. I'm low. Describing a high-range scoring person. Imaginative, open... I'm... Oh. I'm open-minded, imaginative, aren't I? Maybe I'm not. Uh, conscient conscientiousness, work ethic, very low. <laughs> so dear, okay, fair enough. Uh, spontane spontaneous, disorganised, prefers flexible plans, dislikes precise details. No, I do like precise details. I'm just, yeah, I guess I'm quite lazy. Uh, extroversion, very low. One for that. Reserved, formal, serious, quiet. Prefers work and alone. Avoids direct leadership roles. The thing is, the high one would say outgoing, friendly, assertive. Enjoys, so I can be those as well. Agreeableness, 26, low. 
I would quite like to be a high on agreeableness because that's something that's um, a good thing to be. So hard-headed, sceptical, competitive, proud. I am not proud. I'm not at all. Prefers competitive com competition over cooperation. Over okay. I don't will not be called proud. I refuse anyone to call me proud, and I will not back down from that. Uh, natural reactions. I score very high at ninety six. Not easily upset in stressful situations. Relaxed, resilient, calm. Oh, that's low. Sorry, I'm very high. Uh, oh dear. So I'm very. This is the only one I'm high in. Experiences negative emotional reactions and feelings of anxiety. Prone to worry. Easily upset. Blimey. So. The factor test score furthest away from 50, above or below, indicates a person's strongest personality trait. The, the what? The factor test furthest away from 50, above or below, indicates a person's strongest personality trait. This trait is likely to have the greatest influence on your overall behaviour, motivation, values and reactions to life and work situations. The next furthest away from 50 above or below is to be the next influence. Wow. So. Uh, so really, according to this. I am reserved, formal, serious, quiet, prefers working alone. Avoids direct leadership roles and experiences negative emotional reactions and feelings of anxiety, prone to worry, easily upset. That don't come across very nice, does it? Hmm. I don't know what I think about that. I've never been so angry. <laughs> I just don't know. Okay, well, oh, 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 wait a second. So I just need to do something. Why do birds suddenly appear? I can't stop singing it, man. I can't stop singing it. What am I supposed to do? What can I do? Ooh. So, that this is my IQ test. I've done a few of those. Did a personality test as well, which didn't work out quite so well. But that's it. This is my Monday Boring Objects. I hope it's been boring for you. Hope it's been as boring for you as it's been for me. So thank you for listening. Remember to be kind to yourself because you deserve to be happy. Be gentle with yourself. Lots of love. Bye. Why do birds suddenly appear? Relax in a more deep and meaningful way, maybe in a way that can not just allow you to feel calmer now and throughout the time we spend together here, not just relaxed at the end of the recording when it's finished and you can enjoy that sense of 
comfort and peace. But also I think it would be nice to have those feelings of relaxation continue for longer after the recording is ended. So that you can still benefit from listening to my voice. Maybe in a few hours time. Perhaps tomorrow. And then by listening regularly, especially if you find, like some people do, and myself as well, I sometimes I find one particular recording that really resonates with me. And I'll just listen to it over and over again. Every morning, every evening. There was this recording from... We're going back to about 1999. It, was a, it wasn't hypnosis, but it was a guided visualisation. So it kind of was hypnosis, really. And I managed to find it again, and it still has the same effect on me. And part of it was the person's voice relaxed me. It just felt so peaceful, and I'd look forward to listening to her in the morning and in the evening. And I knew before even pressing the play button that as soon as I'd done that, pressed the play button, this was in the days of CD players, press the play button, in fact it might have even been a tape, tape recorder, I'd lie down on the bed and then even without necessarily listening to her words, because I had them memorized, really. It was as if my body knew exactly what to do. And the muscles just almost went into automatic relaxation and I remember my mind would slow down now now I was, I was listening to this recording in the early days of learning hypnosis and long before I ever made any videos or audio recordings myself because I didn't start doing that till 2006 but I knew 
I knew how helpful I found being able to just let go to have that trust in the person that I'm listening to knowing that it's going to be just as relaxing if if not more so each time you hear my voice you may feel the same some people have been listening to me for over a decade maybe not solidly obviously not 24 hours a day but maybe people come back some people maybe listen every day And something that I do, which you may not realize by listening, is when I record these recordings, now for example, I also am affected by the words that I say. So if I said to you, focus on your feet, notice your feet relaxing. I will be focusing on my feet. I will be noticing my feet relaxing. If I said focus on your hands and maybe notice the difference between each hand. Perhaps notice the, the air in the room, the temperature of the room on the backs of your hands. You may start to notice what almost feels like a very light breeze even though there may not be any type of breeze at all where you are right now and as you become aware of your hands I'm also aware of how relaxed my hands are feeling now. comes to potentially drifting off to sleep, which may be the reason you're listening. I also feel drowsy when I make these recordings. I also 
also notice my mind drifting. In fact, at times, I've actually fallen asleep. without even noticing. And then I carry on talking. It's only when I listen back to do the editing, I hear snoring. And I think, I don't remember snoring. I remember talking. Was it snoring or was a pig turned up? That's what I sound like when I snore. And I get really into the whole experience. I don't know how you feel. How relaxed you feel in your feet. How relaxed you feel in your hands. noticed more and more that the more relaxed, deeper level of comfort you feel, the easier your breathing becomes. It's almost like that additional muscle relaxation. So this allows you to breathe easier. without necessarily focusing on your breath. However, being able to notice ease in which you breathe so naturally Breathe so very easily and smoothly. Whenever I imagine my breathing improving, then of 
got my eyes closed. I tend to visualize a beautiful field with trees and flowers. Producing all that life giving oxygen. It feels nice. to, if nothing else, just take in some time away from everything. Enjoying that feeling of peace, serenity. a joyful heart time seems to just Drip by so very slowly. completely unattached to any thoughts whatsoever in this moment. Completely free. Noticing that your mind has slowed down. Slowed down.
because nothing really requires your attention. You can enjoy the physical sensations of allowing the stress to drip out of your body. Drip in out of every Heart of your body. And being released from your brain. Slowly but surely the muscles in your legs Pleasant feelings in your arms and shoulders. Deepening each part of your body. Further and deeper and deeper. In the feelings in the back of your neck, the feelings in your wrists
muscles in the front of your body. So feeling peaceful. a sense of peace spreads through your very core. Focus on your mind. Your mind becomes even slower. Very slow. Your stomach. Peaceful in your stomach, your back. Notice how relaxed you now feel.
spine, from your brain all the way down the middle of your back, sending and receiving millions of messages every day. Deeply relaxed. Spreading those signals down your spinal cord into every part of your body. Your shins and your calf muscles. Feelings of peace and tranquility spreading through your body. Tips of your toes to your eyes, your fingers. all the way to your lower back. Letting go. Really letting go. Drifting. Mind. Just wandering away. Happy.
to let go. Let go. So tranquil, your whole body. Joy in a sense of letting go. Even more. Enjoying the space, this space of peace and safety.
letting go. Maybe we can just focus on the different parts of your body, just to notice forehead and your eyes, So loose. Noticing a sense of Complete freedom. Absolute freedom. Peaceful energy.
not have noticed. Your mind drifting. Peaceful. Blissful peace. Blissful peace. Total peace. Letting go. body
body feels almost invisible. you could start to notice that you are feeling more relaxed even though I've not purposely focused your mind upon that sense of physical comfort that is growing within you throughout your body And your mind starts to slow down. And that could be almost in recognition of, I guess, my speech not being particularly fast. And things just generally feel calmer just by listening to my voice you give yourself a, an opportunity to take a break from the day take a break from your life as it is and to give yourself a rest giving yourself permission to take some time off and to allow your body to relax and allow your mind to slow down which in turn releases the tension any stresses that you had in your body It's almost as if the parts of your body just open up, allowing the negativity out. And at the same time, replacing that negativity with positive, healing energy, which then fills your body up. And your mind to also starts to appreciate those feelings of increasing confidence and an almost uplifting feeling, positive healing. An energy that spreads through your body like a wave of comfort. And all 
this comes from just allowing yourself a few minutes, maybe half an hour, however long you want it to be, to just rest. And allow your mind and your body to almost reset itself to the, to the settings of comfort and relaxation, calmness, which allows more room for feelings of pleasure and happiness to move around your body and into your mind almost as if your mind and your body are sinking together almost mirroring each other with that growing positivity and calmness and it feels nice it really does feel nice to know that you are the one that has allowed yourself to feel more comfort and to experience more of this deep relaxation spreading throughout your body. And as I focus on each part of your body, you can notice that that part becomes even more relaxed just by focusing on it, becomes even more calm and comfortable just by focusing and as I move down your body starting at your head the parts that you've already focused on will continue to relax deeply and those parts that we've not yet focused on just automatically release any remaining tension in anticipation of even more comfort about to come. Now, I'm going to start by focusing on your forehead. Just being aware of the feelings of your forehead. And any background sounds, like Mr. Herbert the Pigeon, can just allow you to feel even more relaxed. It just means you're in the moment. This isn't this isn't a sterile environment, this is the world. I live in the countryside, so there's lots of nature sounds around. So as you focus on your forehead, just notice how it becomes even more relaxed as you focus 
only on my voice and that part of your body. Moving down to your eyes, focusing on your eyes, noticing how the, your eyelids feel so heavy yet so light at the same time and all the muscles around your eyes relaxing completely moving your focus down to your mouth your lips, your tongue your teeth and your gums all of your mouth relaxing calm and loose as you focus now on your jaw not just the part of your jaw near your mouth or your chin but all the way up the size of your face to your ears, that whole of your jaw, feeling more relaxed and calm. in on your neck, the front of your neck and your throat, relaxing and loose and calm, the sides of your neck, the right and left side of your neck. Focusing on the back of your neck, letting go of any tension that may have been there before, and enjoying that sense of increasing comfort and release you can experience in the back of your neck. Moving down your back, moving either side of your spine, right from the top of your back, all the way down to the bottom of your back. down to your lower back, as you move up and down your spine, you can feel the muscles either side of your spine relaxing even more. As those muscles relax, that sense of comfort starts to spread outwards from your spine into both sides of your back, the top of your back, the middle and your lower back, and as you scan Gently and slowly up and down your back, as 
the muscles in the top of your back relax and become looser. The muscles in the middle of your back also seem to just almost divide from each other, separating and almost melting. And in your lower back, there seems to be an extra special feeling of comfort. that spreads into your hips, so down your lower back and into your hips, into the area where your coccyx are, and into your buttocks, and all those muscles that spread in your lower back into your hip area, start to melt, start to really let go, and you know we're about to focus on your shoulders, your back and your spine. As you focus on your shoulders, you may notice that they're already feeling really loose. They're already muscles that move from your neck into your shoulders. Feel so soft and gentle, so smooth. Feeling in your shoulders seems to spread deep into your shoulders. That sense of relaxation, not just traveling deeply into your muscles. Also relaxing the bones, and moving all the way to underneath your arms, relaxing that whole area between the tops of your shoulders and underneath your arms. healing you feel so relaxed and comfortable in your shoulders which sends that deep healing message 
passage. Into your arms. And you may feel almost as if your arms are not even there because they're so relaxed, so deeply relaxed. So Now on your hands, sense of real peace it just seems to feel so familiar
fingertips. to the front of your body, so comfortable, muscles in your thighs your knees so relaxed Muscles and your shins completely
so peaceful. go of everything so I'm going to start counting down now from 20 down to 1 You can imagine, in a way, it's like just walking down some steps. And each step, all 20 steps, and each step represents a level of comfort. Each step represents a deepening of that comfort. further you, you walk down those steps the deeper and more relaxed you feel so starting with number 20 20 Eighteen. Seventeen.
14. Thirteen.
eight. Six.
As you focus on your eyes, I'm going to count down from ten down to one. Focus in just on your eyes. 
your eyelids, the muscles around your eyes, your eyeballs themselves, that whole area that makes up your eye. As we count down from ten down to one, whilst focusing on your eyes, you'll become twice as relaxed with each number counting down. you may find that all you want to do is just drift off to sleep and if that's what you want then just allow yourself to do that Focusing on your eyes, I'm going to begin counting down from ten down to one right now.
so counting down from ten to one ten Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And maybe that was a bit too quick in order to relax. Maybe it's a bit too fast for you to notice the calming of your body. Maybe even a little bit of pressure there, like you're counting down from 10 to 1. What do you expect me to do, man? You expect me just to go all floppy just because you're counting down? Try it again, but this time I'll go a bit slower. This time, as you focus on the whole of your body before we focus on your legs, just notice how your body does start to feel more relaxed. every number that I count down. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. just notice how how you feel generally how your body feels it's not necessarily even about counting down from 10 to 1 it's that space that you have that space between being active physically or mentally to just sitting or lying down just being there not doing anything not saying anything not needing to think think about anything so it, op it opens up a space you know a bit of a space a gap and the more I count down from 10 to 1 the bigger that gap 
becomes. So there's that gap of calmness, of comfort, of relaxation. It's a nice feeling. And it moves those stresses or discomforts physically or emotionally, moves them away. Allows you to just slow down. So I'm going to count again from 10 down to 1 and notice that gap widening. The gap. And as it widens, it's almost like the, the stress and the tension falls into the gap. gives you that distance, that space, now, 10, 9, 7, 6, 3 How does your body feel now? Can you notice the, that you're feeling calmer? Feeling more relaxed. As we now focus on your legs. Just your legs. And we're just going to start with 
focusing on your thighs. Of course, it's not the most exciting thing to be doing because I'm, I'm sure like most of your body there's not a lot going on right now but just focus in on the whole of your thighs the tops of your thighs the sides of your thighs the bottoms of your thighs, your outer thighs and your inner thighs. Basically the whole of your thigh that leads into your hip. And then goes down to your knee joints. Now this is a big area. It's a very heavy area, it's very strong, probably the strongest muscles in your body are in your thighs. But I don't think we, perhaps, we give enough attention to our thighs. Perhaps we don't acknowledge how important our thighs are to our lives. How much they actually do for us. all through our lives. And it may, it may seem, sound really weird, but I think that all of our body parts, especially our thighs, need some TLC. A bit of love shown. A bit of Acknowledgement, a thank you, gratitude for what our thighs do for us. And I know this may sound a bit strange. Maybe you think, why am I? Surely I should be out in in the garden hugging a tree or something well it's hard to set a microphone up on a tree that's why I'm doing this indoors otherwise I would be outside hugging a tree no I can't see the television from the tree if you move down to your knees Gain such an important part. And, and I think we don't necessarily, I'll speak for myself here, I don't necessarily appreciate all that my knees do for me until I have a problem with my knee. So occasionally, if I have a, maybe I bash it or it's aching for some reason. It's then that I realise how much it does. You know, the benefit of being able to use my legs without any kind of physical discomfort is a beautiful thing that's possibly not appreciated until it's 
temporarily removed, you know, that comfort. But as you focus on your knees, regardless of how your knees feel, you can have that sense of gratitude and love to your knees for all that they do for you. And you can still have that attention on your thighs. Maybe notice how your thighs feel. Maybe you've noticed that they are relaxing more deeply. And as you focus now on the bottoms of your legs, the shins, and your calf muscles, and the bones between your knees and your feet. Incorporating, of course, your ankles. So important. You know, anyone that's had even the, like the slightest sprain of an ankle knows how how much we take our ankles for granted and it's kind of strange in a way when you think that you know logically our wrists are a lot thinner than the rest of our arms which is okay doesn't can't see any problem with that because we're just picking stuff up. But our ankles are so much thinner than the rest of our legs. And from a physics perspective, or logical even, it doesn't really make sense that all this weight would ultimately be resting on your ankles then leading to your feet. That thin area, thin bone. Yeah, it does so much great work. Supports us, supports our body for a lifetime. Helps us to balance helps you to get around and be mobile and there's the calf muscles of course when I was younger I couldn't see the point in calf muscles they didn't seem to do anything like okay if I walked around on tiptoes, then my calf muscles get some work. But of course that's not true. The calf muscles are being used whenever we use our legs. And your shins. There to protect your lower legs. Shaped in a way, almost as a protector for the bone. Leading, of course, to your ankles and your feet. But we're not going to focus on your feet, we're just going to focus on the legs. I realize that now that I've mentioned your feet, you're probably focusing on them anyway. So maybe I should focus on your feet a little bit. You can have them in your awareness. The same as you have your thighs in your awareness, even though we haven't been focusing on your thighs 
for a few minutes focusing on your ankles there's still that sensation of comfort in your thighs almost that movement of energy because the thighs hold lots of different sensations. Of course, there's the muscles, the big, strong muscles that we have in our thighs. But the skin on the outside of the thighs, as in the outside of all of our body can be very sensitive. Sensitive to the touch. Sensitive to temperature. And inside your thighs, the bones, there's the muscle, there's the blood vessels, the arteries. So all this stuff that's inside your thighs. And I guess sometimes it'd be nice if you could actually put your fingers inside your thighs and massage. So you can massage on the outside, of course, but to be able to get deep into the muscles, to be able to just massage inside your thighs Massaging the bones of your leg, massaging all the veins and just gently healing your thighs. And you could move down, massaging inside your knees, just massaging those bones with healing fingertips spreading that healing energy deep into the joints of your knees and of course there's the back of your your knee you know the inside crease where your knee is it's a very sensitive area very feels very nice when you stroke it. That might be because it's an area that's not really touched very often. It's almost like a hidden part, that crease in your legs. It's almost it's like a part that has a, a sensitivity which is a little bit different. course it's protected by your legs so you can imagine putting your fingers into that crease in your legs that fold in between your legs you can just massage with your fingertips imagine your fingertips going inside Massaging the muscle tissue. You can, of course, feel the, the bones of your knees healing through your fingertips. And then as you go down to your calf muscles, now that's a part I'd like to be able to really put my fingertips deep inside my calf muscles, massaging every single tissue of that muscle, healing every part. And then doing 
the same for my shins. Massaging and gently stroking my bones. Gently stroking them, healing in a loving way. Because they deserve to be treated as the precious bones that they are. Because our legs are so precious, as in all the other parts of our body. They're more precious than any jewel on the planet. When you start to think about your legs in this way, it can change your perspective. It might sound a bit, a bit silly to start with, the idea of having love for your legs showing appreciation for your thighs wanting to be able to put your hands in your thighs and massage the muscles in the bones and to get your fingers deep in there releasing all tension just to show how much you care about your legs, how much you care for what your legs do for you regularly. Your knees, your calves, your ankles. The strength of your ankles, considering how thin they are compared to the rest of your legs, especially your thighs. Yet they're so strong, so flexible, absolutely amazing things your ankles are. Truly a gift because of what they do for you. Supporting all that weight, regardless of how what weight you are, even if you're only eight stone, still a lot of weight for these little ankles. Now I'm a lot heavier than eight stone. Double that. Yet my ankles support my body all the time. Although they do give off a sigh of relief when I sit down. As in fact my whole legs do. My feet, feet also go whew. My toes clap. I'm so happy. Your legs really are amazing. And I know that talk, uh, talking about your legs is probably, possibly be among the most, in, most boring things you've ever heard anyone say, possibly. But boring or not, everything I said is true. Your legs are amazing. Your legs deserve not just respect, they deserve to relax, 
deeply. They deserve to take some time out of the day to just let go completely. Because the legs are so, such a most, you know, very important part of your body, when you relax your legs, the rest of your body also naturally follows in that journey of comfort. feel it in my hips, my hips feel really loose, and also in my lower back as well, my lower back really feels, it feels stretched, even though I'm just sitting in a chair, and there's no stretching, as far as I'm aware that I'm doing, it's almost as if the muscles have just relaxed so much that there is a natural stretch as the tension has reduced a lot. Continue to feel wonderfully relaxed. Ten, nine, eight, seven. So I'm just going to count down from five down to one. And as I count down, if you just focus on the numbers, just the numbers, counting down, and notice how you feel in this moment as you hear the numbers counting down, knowing that those numbers counting down represent you feeling karma not just in your body but also relaxing your mind and just notice how you feel there's nothing to do there's nothing to say there's nothing to think about Starting with number five. Four. Three. Two. 
to one. And as you notice the gradual letting go of the tension in your body. You may also begin to notice and be aware of how your mind is starting to slow down. This is just a natural thing that happens. It's not really a special procedure. It's just natural because as your body relaxes, your mind also starts to relax. And the more your mind relaxes, the more your body relaxes. It's just a continuous circle of relaxation. And there's that calmness that comes from relative quietness. You know, even even if there's background sounds, either your side or mine, it's still going to be quite calm. You know, you haven't got the television on, there's no music in the background unless you're listening to the recording with music, of course. You're very likely not going to be sitting in a room with other people. Of course you might be, but generally it's more ideal if you can do this on your own. So, no distractions. And when you stop thinking about stuff, relaxation automatically rises. A sense of comfort starts to grow. And without trying to build it up into something fantastical or something magical, this is just a natural process, something that's easy to accomplish. In fact, it's almost, you know, the sense of relaxing completely happens really when you put no effort into it. It's not something that you can really force. It's something that happens naturally and part of the process of this recording and others is simply to allow you to take advantage of this space this time to just let go to just be here to be in tune with how you feel yet with the intention of wanting to relax deeply. And maybe even to fall asleep, depending on what it is that you wish for yourself in this moment. As we know, relaxing is the majority 
of the process of falling asleep. The actual falling asleep part is the tiny bit at the end. The deeper relaxed you become, the easier you find yourself drifting. You can also, if you choose, stay focused on my voice and really enjoy the process of gradually Relaxing each muscle in your body. Effortlessly. And just observing. the sensation of letting go. Completely. And this time I'm going to count from six down to one. Notice your mind calming down more with each number you hear me say. Naturally feeling calm and slow and peaceful. Two.
is slowed right down, sinking deeply into relaxation. As you focus on your mind, you may notice that there are some thoughts still there, maybe some stubborn thoughts that for some reason perhaps need your attention. can do is send love to those thoughts, sprinkle those thoughts with love, like little petals from a flower, just sprinkle it over them, petals filled with love towards those thoughts, to let those thoughts know that you're not abandoning them, you just need them, you require them to just calm down, slow down, quiet down. As you focus on those remaining thoughts, as we count down this time from seven down to one, with each number, just imagine sprinkling those flower petals of love, kindness, gratitude over those thoughts. Which will allow them to just melt away and relax deeply. With every number. Those thoughts will become more in with number seven.
Imagine now, notice how relaxed you're feeling in your body. We're going to focus Because the more relaxed your hands are, the more relaxed your body and mind are. And as you focus on your hands and your fingers, there's nothing needed to be done, there's no clenching of fists or tensing the fingers or anything like that. It's just noticing and focusing on your Noticing how they feel. Because the more relaxed your hands feel, the calmer your mind feels. Noticed that your mind is starting to drift. Focusing just on your hands and fingers, allowing them to experience a real deepening of that relaxation in your hands and fingers. number from eight down to one you can almost feel that healing and relaxing energy spreading into your hands fingers, becoming even more relaxing with each number you hear going down from eight 
starting with number eight. Seven. Just being here now. Nothing to think about. Nothing to do. Nothing to say. And everything just feels calmer. This is your natural state of being. This is how you just normally feel when you take away all of that other stuff that we add. You know, things like stress and worrying and overthinking and anxiety. generally thinking about 
of stuff. When you take that away, which is what we do, what we do now, you're left with a real sense of peacefulness, which comes to you very quickly. Because ultimately, it's just a feeling. A feeling of comfort. It's almost as if you've gone inside yourself and you've found a special place where everything is peaceful. place where you can feel relaxed and your natural sense of comfort. A place where you can be you. Where you can accept yourself for who you are. A place where you're not trying to please anybody else, ever, a place where you can actually not just love yourself, but in some ways more importantly, you can like yourself, appreciate who you are. sense of gratitude is in the air all around you. And that's also a place where you can actually feel the healing energy soaking into your body. soaking into your body. And that healing energy spreads through your veins, traveling to each and every single part of your body. start to realize that actually that healing energy has not just entered into your brain, it's become part of your brain. And that spinal fluid is now mixed with healing energy. Not just allowing you to feel so much more relaxed and healthy in this moment, but also you start to realize that actually what's happening now with that healing relaxing energy spreading through your body is actually changing your life. It's actually changing the way you're going to feel, not just now, but tomorrow and the next day as your health improves. Not just your physical health, but your mental health. Things that used to bother you in the past, for some reason, 
no longer have the effect that they used to. Because something has changed deep within you. Maybe things that used to cause you to feel anger no longer have that power to control you the way they seem to be able to before. As you realize that you're the one who decides what affects you. You're the one who decides to feel relaxed and calm when you choose to enjoy Noticing these natural developments of healing, continuing to grow and improve your life day by day. Including, of course, your ability to relax so much easier and sleep in is the most natural thing in the world to you because falling asleep is something that you've done so many times in your life and you know that you were born as we all were with the ability to fall asleep naturally we were born with that ability to just drift off into a deep healing sleep. Even when we're kids, sometimes we'll fall asleep when we don't even want to. We try to even stay awake. Maybe it's a birthday in the morning or it's Christmas or holiday or something we look forward to. We don't want to go to sleep. But the more we want to stay awake, the more we just start to drift. And the more you fight drifting, the more you try and stop yourself from drifting asleep. The deeper and stronger that drifting becomes. Because we're born not just with the need to relax deeply and to naturally fall asleep, but it's our birthright, it's part of our DNA, and sometimes as we get older in life. Perhaps at times we have forgotten that relaxing completely is not only a wonderfully pleasant experience, it's also really easy. It's 
very, very easy to let go. Because that's all it is, it's just deciding to let go. And when you press the play button on my recordings, you have given permission for my voice to relax you. When you press that play button, you have given me permission for my words to affect you in a positive positive way, opening up your mind to useful and healing suggestions. such an amazing effect on how you feel right now, as well as those changes that continue long after the recording ends, those changes within you. Continue to flourish and grow, transforming your life in a positive, beautiful way, allowing you to move forward in your life in the direction that you choose for yourself. And this feeling, this feeling that you can experience of safety, comfort, calmness, This feels so nice. It's such a healthy place to be. And that positivity grows within you. to find that you're more relaxed physically and in your mind is more relaxed. And it's not that you're thinking slower, it's just that your mind will be less clogged up with unnecessary negativity. Because from now on, your mind rejects negativity. From now on, you're going to start noticing when negativity arises. You can just say stop. Stop. And that negativity will 
turn around and leave you alone. Stop. And that negativity would disappear. as you notice that you feel way more relaxed than you probably expected. You can now congratulate yourself because you're the person that has done this. You are the one that has opened your mind up to the simple facts that you can feel more relaxed in your body and in your mind. You've opened your mind up to the birthright of being able to just Fall asleep easily when you choose. And that's a nice feeling, don't you think? Feels nice, doesn't it? To feel calm with all that healing spreading through your body and your mind. To spend time in that, that special place where negativity can no longer enter. Negativity is banned, it's barred, it's not allowed entry. Doesn't it doesn't des doesn't deserve to be here, doesn't belong here. Negativity has no place in your life. makes room for more comfort, more healing, more relaxation, more peace. Feels nice, doesn't it? To just to let go of everything. And I'm going to count down now from twenty down to one. Continue to relax. If you choose, you can drift to sleep with every number you hear me say. You can feel twice as relaxed. Or if you choose, you can feel twice as sleepy. Now, twenty. Nine 
empty. This is your time to just take a break. Your time to relax, to allow your mind to slow down. To give yourself permission to take a break from everything. And you're the only person that can make that decision. You're the only person that can actually tell your mind. Just relax. To just take some time off. So that you can focus on your body getting in touch with how you feel physically. And in the process of this body scan where you focus on different parts of your body, those parts that you focus on and observe, even though you're not purposely requesting for those parts of your body to relax, 
it's kind of expected. You expect, when you listen to my voice, to feel more relaxed, naturally. Because when you're listening to me, your attention is focused on my words. And as my words guide you to focus on those parts of your body, your focus increases. which actually calms your mind. And when your mind calms down, your body relaxes. started to focus on your body, you can already feel that healing energy spreading through your body, pushing out stress and tension. of your body, including your skin, your bones, your blood, all of your organs inside your body, all of the muscles, all of the fat, all of everything, every hair on your body is filled with that feeling of comfort, of relaxation, increases. Deeply increases. In a way that starts to feel perhaps a bit drowsy, because it's not needed, and that it may start to drift, That's what's needed. So if you're listening to this and what you need is deep relaxation, that's what you'll get. If what you need is to fall asleep naturally and easily as your mind drifts, that's also
is by pressing that play button on the podcast and listening to me. You give permission to your body and your mind. In fact, you give the command to your body and your mind to relax deeper and to drift off to sleep. As I focus on the different parts of your body, you may start to just drift, and then you come back again, and you hear me talking and and focusing on a different part of your body. yourself drifting, but you don't realize you're drifting until you stop drifting, you get alert again to my voice, focusing on a different part of your body, starts to relax even deeper, because that drifting Basically, you already in the sleep zone. And the more you drift, the longer you drift, and the longer you drift, and eventually that drifting continues into sleep. the last you remember until you wake up in your own time when you experienced the right amount of sleep for you because when you do and if you do fully asleep so nice to relax into your own body and mind as you as you feel that healing energy spreading through you relaxing you so deeply relaxing your soul 
Let's focus again on parts of your body. Focusing this time on your forehead. Focus in on the fingers. Maybe you could move your fingers a little bit so you can focus on each one individually. you focus on both of your hands now, then they seem to just melt into one. Where does your right hand start and your left hand end? Almost as if Focusing on the knees. Just noticing how your knees feel. Now focusing on your elbow. Focusing in on both of your elbows. Just observing the feeling of your elbows. sensations in your ankles.
sin. How your entire body feels. Noticing. Letting go. Letting go. Letting go letting go letting to start now and I'd like you just first of all just to see yourself lying down on that massage table lying on your front your head is supported your arms are supported and you feel comfortable and the breathing is really easy and you feel You feel confident in how you look as well. So there's none of that issue of body problems or shyness because I'm a professional and this is a therapy session. So none of that stuff matters whatsoever. This is about you. This is about how you feel and how you can enjoy that sense of comfort and relaxation that comes from letting go and allowing my hands and my fingers to relax you by massaging your body. I want to start off just by placing my hands on the back of your head, just gently, just so you can feel what my hands feel like really on you, so you can maybe feel the warmth of my hands on the back of your head, I'm going to move my hands to the side of your head, not pressing but just holding there very gently, maybe over your ears and a little bit on your face, just so you can feel my hands, so you can become accustomed to them. And now I'll put my hands on the back of your head again and gently let them slide down onto the back of your neck. You 
can feel my hands. Gently stroking the back of your neck to start with. Just so you can get used to the the feeling of my hands on your skin. Get accustomed to it. Realize that you're safe and it's all good. It's all fine. And I'm going to start gently massaging the muscles in the back of your neck. both hands. Now this is a very trusting situation really because our necks are so fragile and to have someone have their hands around your neck in that way can sometimes be problematic for people which is why massages are quite good because it allows you to relax and to get in touch with trust to feel peaceful and calm and as I massage the sides of your neck gently Moving from the bottom of your neck, which would be sort of near where your shoulders start, I guess, all the way up to your jaw, your ears kind of area, that side of your neck. Of course, is a lot longer than the front of your neck. Massaging the, the back of your neck, especially that area where perhaps we hold tension. And as that area is massaged, you can actually feel a sense of release in the back of your neck. And maybe you can breathe it out as well. Notice how it feels. Notice how you feel. Then moving down to that area between your neck and your shoulders. That muscly area. Starting to massage that area on both sides. I mean, this would be the area that a lot of people would massage if they were going to give you like a shoulder massage. Even that's not technically the shoulders, but it's all the muscles that lead to the shoulders. From the neck. And again, that can hold tension and stress. And when massaged, sometimes a nice deep massage is useful. And you decide how deep that massage is. And just allow my knuckles just to dig in to get to those muscles and to really relax them. All the time being firm yet gentle with you. And just stroking down that area to your actual shoulders. 
move into the muscles of your shoulders. And maybe initially just pulling up the shoulders a little bit off the table, just to give you a little bit of a stretch, but very gently. And you've got the muscles at the front of your shoulders, the sides and the back. This is a part that can really take quite a bit of pressure, quite a bit of uh, kneading, if if you wish, to really release the tension, to really get into those muscles and let your fingers in there and make you feel really nice. Sometimes it's just being stroked gently or being massaged quite strongly. It can all be beneficial to the relaxation. Of the muscles in your shoulders. Now as we move down your arms, we do one arm at a time, starting with your right arm. What I'll do is I'll just lift your arm up, just hold it to the side of you. I want it to still be attached. And I just massage the tops of your arms. All the way down to your forearms. Into your wrists. Gently massaging that part, the softer part, which is the under part of the arm, which leads to the crease in your elbow, the inside. It's much more sensitive skin. Sometimes just having that stroked can feel really nice, pleasurable and relaxing. Now moving down to your right hand. Just holding your hand in both of my hands. Just pressing gently on the back of your hand and stretching your fingers ever so lightly. At the same time, Pressing down and massaging each finger. And then starting to massage the palms of your hand. Just turning the hand gently. Stretching it gently. Actually having your hand held can really be 
an emotional experience sometimes, even if it is with a stranger, someone you don't know very well, like a massage person or a therapist maybe, because it's intimate. safe and as I put that right arm back down where it was I'm going to do the same with your left arm exactly the same Massaging the muscles in your arm all the way down to your wrist. Stroking the inside of your arm. Just being gentle or as firm as you require. Massaging your left hand. Stretching the fingers gently. Massaging the palm of your left hand. So comforting. Now just rest your left arm back down. Just start to massage your back biggest part of your body, starting at the top, starting again where we would have been, that area at the top, in between your shoulders, near your neck, going back, massaging that area again, but this time moving down. a downward stroke to the middle of your back, working from the outside inwards, so massaging the, your back but the, the outsides of your back, the parts where your arms would maybe rest against, almost the part that connects your front to your back, and just massaging down firmly but gently as firm as you want, moving down and then moving across a little bit and moving all the way down again, being very gentle, yet firm as you choose. And eventually you get to the spine. You can massage the muscles on either side of your spine from the top of your neck all the way down to your lower back. You can 
do that a few times. Sometimes people would use the knuckle or the, you know, two fingers and just go either side of the spine, almost just push down, go all the way down to the bottom of the spine. Each time releasing tension and opening up the body, stretching the body so that you feel more relaxed but at the same time rejuvenated. to one side, to your right side, and from the bottom of your ribs to your pelvis, you're going to massage that area of your back, I'll stretch over the other side and I'll pull the muscles gently and massage and push from one end that side all the way to my side, or to the middle in fact, to where your spine is, massaging that side of your spine, the opposite side to where I'm standing, it's almost like kneading bread, there's that big area which is firm, yet lots there to massage, Potentially one of the most important places to actually have a massage because you really feel it. You really feel the release and the pleasure of having your lower back massaged. It releases so much from your body that's not useful. Starting a healing process which will continue long after this recording is over. And massaging this part of your body not only feels really good for you, but it's actually fun to do because it is, as I said, like kneading bread. It's a part that you can really get a hold of and really massage deeply, if that's your choice. And then I'm going to move over to the other side of your body and do the same with the opposite part of your lower back kneading and massaging from your sides all the way to the middle of your back where your spine is. Pressing and kneading. Firm and gentle at the same time. It feels so releasing. This mixture of pleasure, comfort, release, calmness, relaxation, all mixed together. Plus there's that feeling from your stomach as it's being stretched. Even though you're in your stomach now, you can feel it being stretched because that whole area is connected to your stomach. Now we're going to move, we'll move further up to your top of your body and I'm going to do the same. This time starting with the upper 
the back, put my hands forward over and massage, massage in that area up to your spine, from the side of your body up to your spine. So some of that massage area, the muscle tissue, uh, or whatever, fatty tissue even, will be possibly from your chest. So it's all connected, the chest and the back connect together. I'm going to be massaging and just pulling some of that skin from your side up and massaging that area of your upper back all the way to your spine and then I'll move down a bit and I'll continue with the middle of your back doing exactly the same thing as gentle or as deep as you choose the other side again and do the exact same thing with the top of your back on the other side from pretty much underneath your arm area really to your spine Continuing that all the way down, including your lower, your middle of your back. Now I'm going to go to your thighs, the backs of your thighs and the sides of your thighs starting with your right leg massaging the back and the sides of your thighs gently and firmly there's a lot of muscles there it's an area that can be very tense at times maybe needs a little bit more pressure than the rest of the body but that's up to you you can gently stroke the back of your legs where you know opposite your knee joint or underneath your knee joint it's a very sensitive gentle area And working down to your calf muscles, massaging your calf muscles thoroughly and deeply if you choose, using both hands, and fingers digging deep. your ankles and the back of your back of your ankles just gently massage in that area maybe lifting the leg and stretching it a little bit Moving to the right foot. Massaging the bottom of your feet and the sides of your feet. Gently but 
firm enough so they don't tickle. And just allow the pleasure that you get from having your feet massaged to just overtake you. As I continue to massage your feet, the bottoms of your feet, the sides, your arches, your heel, you can put a lot of pressure into your heel and it feels amazing, yet the arches need to be a bit more gentle. Stretching your toes gently and massaging the bottoms of your toes with my fingers, each one individually. Moving over to the left leg to do exactly the same thing. Starting with the top of the thighs, working the back of the thighs and the sides, massaging deeply and gently that whole area, working all the way down. This is an area that maybe you could like to spend more time relaxing and massaging. So perhaps if you wanted I could make a future recording where I spend more time on one particular area. As you move down your calf muscles, massaging your calf muscles firmly and gently, moving down your ankle and into your feet, massaging backs of your feet, bottoms of your feet, stretching your toes and massaging each toe individually, and that feeling of pleasure and release that you experience when you're having your feet massaged, feels really good. Turn over in your mind, laying on your back. I'm just going to start again at your neck area. And your shoulders. Just to Get back in touch with that area. As you move up. I can clean my hands. Make them all fresh. Because now I'm going to massage your face. Gently. Starting off with your forehead, if your eyes are closed and you can just stretch your eyes a little bit, pushing up on your eyebrows. And just 
just massaging around your scalp. Massaging down your cheeks, around your ears, into your jaw, gently. The sides of your neck, chin, moving down from your neck down to your chest, starting by massaging the very top of your chest, where the collarbone is, either side of the collarbone. Just massaging the whole of the chest. Moving the chest around. Because it's quite a large area, you can move from one side to the next. Moving my hands underneath pretty much where your arms are, stretching up, stretching some of the muscles of your back in the process. Moving up over your chest. Just massage gently and slide down towards your stomach, starting in the middle of your chest. And then gradually my hands moving apart, just massaging and sliding at the same time, moving down. Just below your rib cage. Moving down and massaging up again. Giving your chest all the attention that it needs to feel completely relaxed. So you're going to be focusing on your sides as well, an area that really doesn't get much attention, but feels really good when it's massaged. Just stroking my hands down the sides of your body, or just below your arms. All the way down to your hips. Now moving to your stomach area. I'm going to stand one side of you like I did when I did your lower back. And we're going to do a similar process of just stretching the muscles from your side gently massaging from one side to the next moving that whole area from below your 
ribs all the way down to below your belly button. And then move around to the other side of you and repeat that. Process of relaxing deeply, calmly, you feel loose, you feel free, and there's something about having your stomach massaged that's different from any other part, because we do have a tendency of holding different kind of stress in our stomachs that we may not be aware of. As I now massage your stomach, the front of your stomach, making circles around your belly button. gentleness and a freedom that comes from feeling how you're feeling. As I now move down the tops of your thighs, the muscles massaging them, and I can do this with two legs at the same time, pressing down Massaging deeply those muscles in your thighs, the front of your thighs. And moving down to your knees, gently massaging your knees. Sliding down your shins. Pressure on either side of your shin, gently, softly, but firmly. Moving down to your ankles, stroking the tops of your feet. in each hand, just gently massaging the whole of the foot, the top, the bottom, your heel, your ankle, your toes, massaging every part of your feet, feels so good just to let go. Enjoy the process. Enjoy feeling so deeply relaxed. So much comfort and so many feelings come just from touching your skin, and you can just lie there for as long as you choose, enjoying the feeling of deep comfort being massaged by me. Enjoy feeling deeply
to do is blow out some candles in your mind. There are going to be a hundred candles. You're going to blow each one out individually, one by one, starting at a hundred as I count down. to one and each time I say a number you can imagine that candle in front of you and I'd like you to actually physically <sighs> gently blow that candle out Just, so it's not a big blow, it's just a gentle, and that candle will extinguish. And then I'll say the next number as we move down, and you can just. Blow that one out as well. And as we move down the numbers, you'll find yourself feeling more and more relaxed. If you need to sleep, you also find yourself becoming incredibly tired and sleepy. In fact, you may struggle to blow out all 100 of these candles. As you feel listening to me after a while and even though there may be background sounds where you are you would be aware of those sounds at the moment just not even notice them at all because they're unimportant where I am I've got the sounds of the birds Horace the pigeon 
it likes to say hello sometimes. And as your plane goes by, important whatsoever the more candles you blow out the less important anything is the more candles you blow out say and then you blow that candle out too so easy so simple going to start by introducing the first candle, which is a hundred. Positivity growing within you. Relaxation and sleepiness. Expanding. Starting. Candle ninety. 
No.
to two. Fifty two. Candle. 
28.
let go of all of those thoughts, worries, concerns about the past, thoughts about the future and even things you've been thinking about today. Just let it all go. Because none of it is useful in this moment. This is your opportunity to just focus on feeling relaxed, allowing yourself to get in touch with that natural sense of peace that we all have within us. It's available for everyone. It just sometimes takes a little bit of effort to set up the right time and place in order for you to just let go. Because when you do decide to let go and relax, that's what your body starts to do. Because you've chosen, you've chosen to just allow your body to unwind and your mind starts to slow down. And it's a nice feeling. It's a nice feeling at the beginning just to know that you have chosen to decide to, to relax deeply. And because you've made that decision, your body will just follow suit. Because sometimes all the muscles in your body need is just permission from you to relax. Because so often we're busy, we're going from here to there, we're walking around and we're doing stuff. And the body doesn't have any time or space to really relax deeply. So it kind of waits for you to lead the way. Waits for your permission. And when you do give your permission and you give the say so, you can say, okay, it's time for your body to let go completely and relax totally. Your body just follows. It's all like a breath of relief. Ah, oh, good, I can now relax. That feeling at the end of a day of a very physical day that you may experience in the past where you get home and you just sit down on a chair, maybe you kick your shoes off and oh, oh feels so nice. Knowing that you don't have to get up again for a little while at least. And if you choose, you can just sit there for maybe an hour or two. And it feels blissful. And just by sitting down like that, your body knows that it's time to relax. Your body has been given permission from you. Because it's a mindset where your mind, you're prepared to let go of everything. stress of your body to evaporate. And when you 
tensions can just gradually vanish. It's almost like magic, really. Because that sense of relaxation in the body is a very natural state. It's not something unusual. It may feel unusual when you first start to relax if you if you haven't really spent a lot of time focusing and giving yourself this space to let go completely and relax. It may seem almost alien, but it isn't. It's actually the most natural thing in the world to let go completely, to relax totally, the most natural thing in the world, to allow yourself to feel really calm in your mind, and it is almost like a literal unwinding. It's like you press a button and all the tension just releases. And it's like a wheel, like a cog, like the inside of a clock just unwinding. And it's almost like you could see the the little wind up knob that's used just going the opposite way that you'd use to wind it up. And the energy, that frenetic, stressful energy, gradually winding down, losing its power, losing its strength. As the sense of relaxation becomes stronger, and deeper and you may find that the more relaxed you feel that your mind starts to wander maybe you seem to stop listening to me for a while and your mind goes somewhere else and then you realize you're listening to me again. And that was just your mind drifting to sleep. Which is quite natural. Because sometimes when we're stressed and tense, we not, may not actually be aware of what we need what we physically or emotionally need in this moment. But when you allow your body and mind to relax completely and you let go of all thoughts, concerns, worries, ideas, all touch with the feelings of such relaxation, it feels so nice to be in touch with the calmness of the different body parts as they become looser and looser. seems easier and more natural and effortless as that cool air enters through your mouth or nose into your lungs breathing in comfort 
some relaxation. And then just breathing out any excess remaining tension and stress from every part of your body. As you start to focus on your mind, maybe you notice that things uh, have come to a standstill, or maybe just much, much slower than before, because your mind is not really needed when listening to my voice. Which allows your mind to relax just as deeply as your body. And that synchronicity between the relaxation of your body and the relaxation of your mind lets you know that you're feeling positive benefits for your body, your mind and your life to be able to let go of everything and to relax completely in all parts of your body and mind. Even your bones Muscles are relaxed. Even the skin that covers your body is relaxed. Every hair that you have feels so. starts to feel the benefit of this healing relaxation. And as you focus from the inside of your scalp where your brain is, you can start to realize and notice to relax, he sends those messages to the rest of your body and your mind to really relax even more deep. Because they're no longer necessary in this moment, in this moment of deep relaxation and calmness, filling your brain with deep, calm 
Schmerz und vielleicht zieht sich die Lehne weg. ever-increasing sensations of comfort that are spreading throughout your body. Relaxing each and every muscle of your body.
body scan, focusing on firstly how you feel in your body, not trying to change how you feel, not trying to relax, not trying to move away from any discomfort or stress or tension, but just accepting, observing and accepting how you feel in the different parts of your body, just allowing yourself to be exactly as you are, to notice, to get in touch with how you actually feel in this moment. So I'm going to start off Focusing on your hands. Just be aware of your hands. I'd like you to move your hands around. Just maybe move your fingers a little bit. Opening and closing your hands very gently. Just so that you can get in touch with how your hands and your fingers feel. Very, very slow movements. Focusing now feet. And if you can, just be kind of an equivalent with your feet as you've just done with your hands. Maybe turning your ankles, moving the feet around, moving your toes gently. how your feet feel in this moment. Focusing now on your eyes. I'd like you to just focus on your eyelids. Maybe you can open and close your eyes a couple of times to really get in touch with how you feel when you do close your eyes. The muscle changes in your eyes when you do close them. Maybe raising your eyebrows which stretches the tops of your eyes. Perhaps squinting your eyes, scrunching up your eyes, just so you can really get in touch with all aspects of how your eyes feel. Focusing on your thighs. I'm going to just ask you to gently tense your thighs. Just very, very gently. Just enough so you can become more attuned to the physical sensation of your upper legs, the front of your thighs and the backs of your thighs, noticing and observing how your thighs to the back of your neck, 
just noticing the back of your neck, the muscles, and of course they lead to the side of your neck, they also lead to the top of your back, which lead to your shoulders, so as you focus on the back of your neck, maybe you can move your head gently upwards, as if you were looking up, maybe moving your head down, as if you were looking down, perhaps moving your head side to side, right to left. anything. It has to be very, very gentle. Just so you can be more in touch with the feelings, with the sensations, the physical sensations of how the back of your neck feels right now. As we now focus on the tops of your arms, the parts where your biceps and your triceps are, between your elbow and your shoulders, as you focus on those parts, the tops of your arms, and they might have just tensed them, but very, very gently and slowly, so you're not straining putting any pressure whatsoever on your arms, it's just so that you can gain more of a sense of how your upper arms are feeling in this moment. noticing as you gently, very gently and slowly tighten the muscles and then let go. Notice how the tops of your arms Just above your groin. Maybe you're able to tense these muscles in that area very, very gently and slowly. If that's difficult thing to do, maybe you can just move your body, pushing your stomach up, maybe moving a little bit to the side, using your hips, just so that you can get more in tune with how feeling in this 
this one. Just noticing the physical sensations of the lower abdomen. And as you move your attention Noticing the lips inside your mouth, your teeth, your gums, your tongue. Just noticing. it gently against the side of your mouth and then to the right gently to the side of your mouth perhaps pressing up against the the top of your mouth and then down gently against the bottom of your mouth Just rotate your wrists by moving your hands in a circular motion very gently and slowly, just so that you can feel sensations that you are currently experiencing in your wrists. Perhaps moving your hands up and down and again just above your hips, where your coccyx are, and the 
sorry, I mean it does include the sides of the body. Because those muscles are very much connected. Because those muscles also move into your hip area, connecting to your buttocks. physically able to do so, maybe you can fairly gently just move your body ever so slightly, very slowly, from side to side, just enough physical sensations of your lower back. If it's okay to do so, gently open your mouth, not wide and then stretching, just very gently and slowly opening your mouth and closing your mouth. chest area, you don't need to do anything to move your chest, because it moves every time you breathe, it moves very gently. 
Sensing metal pain. With each breath you take. As you focus on Thank you. 
those muscles and those bones in their midsection. Noticing how your hips feel right now. You can very, very gently move your hips. Everything starts to slow down. Including the thoughts in your mind and your mind itself just starts to gradually it doesn't have to be instant, but just gradually starting to, it's almost like time is stretching, but it's a slower pace to maybe what you're used to in your day-to-day -day life. It's a slower movement of energy. Very small movements which make up the larger movements which is always the case. So when you move your hand, it might seem like it's one movement, but it's lots of minute different muscles moving in accordance with each other. And what happens in this space that we're sharing is we move from that big movement into those smaller movements. Starting to focus on how your body feels, not just as a whole, not just, oh, I'm feeling this way, I'm feeling stressed or tense or I'm feeling relaxed and calm, I'm feeling this way, I'm feeling that way. Starting to notice that your body 
begins to present to you small feelings around your body. Small physical sensations. whether pleasurable or not. And maybe resisting the temptation to label them or to judge them, those feelings, and just thinking them, thinking about them as just being neutral just feelings not being particularly concerned but just noticing what your body is telling you the feelings in your arms Instead of feeling the whole of the arm, maybe notice those individual feelings, all those different muscles and the skin, the hairs of your arms, the all the internal parts of your arms, the veins. Just being aware of maybe your elbow on your right arm has a certain feeling. Maybe your left wrist also has its own individual physical sensation. forearm and your right arm. Your right forearm there may not be any particular feeling that you could even give a name to. It may not feel like anything other than just a feeling, you know, it's there. The feelings in your shoulders. Perhaps your shoulders, when you think about them, kind of almost like they're the same, you know, the same feeling. Almost like your both of your shoulders are just one thing course they're not. And when you focus on your left shoulder and then on your right shoulder, maybe you find that you move the muscles a little bit, maybe tense the muscles gently. Noticing the difference in each shoulder. Your lower back. side of your lower back and the right side of your lower back. Of course, 
establish that connection to your buttocks and to your hips. And also moving up into the middle of the back. sometimes, like right now actually, when I focus on that part, when I focused on my buttocks, and then I focused on my, the middle of my back, it almost felt like the muscles in my lower back were being stretched, very gently, just stretched a little bit. Even though I wasn't doing anything to try to stretch the lower back, it just seemed to happen. The feeling of very gently stretching your lower back. along that feel in your chest just noticing what sensations you experiencing in your chest right now. And there's so much of the chest. Obviously there's the collarbone leading to a chest, got the chest bone. You've got the muscles in your chest. And of course, if you're female, there's possibly the breasts. If you're male, you've got the different, I might not act different these days, but there may be more muscles at the top of the chest. But at the side, underneath, it's pretty much the same. Whether you're a man or a woman, there's muscles there. Muscles that stretch out to your back. As well as breast tissue, which stretches and moves into your back. So just being aware of your chest. feeling there is in your chest. And when I notice that I focus on my chest, I feel it in my, my back. I guess the obvious reason would be because, you know, I'm breathing. In. And then it stretches my chest and my back at the same time. Yeah, it feels... It feels okay. Feel a little bit of pain in my right chest. A little bit, not pain, but a little discomfort, maybe stiffness, possibly. 
I don't know. Notice my shoulders are also wanting to flex for some reason. Okay, that's probably part of my upper back. connection between my shoulders and my upper back so I can move my shoulders and stretch the muscles in my back moving the shoulders backwards or up which then moves the I think it's the scapulas in the back Feels quite nice actually. The good thing about this is you can, if you want to, you can just flex or stimulate the various muscles in your body gently to get more of a sense of how they feel. And when you're relaxing, and you do tense a muscle, and then you let it go, and you let it relax, it relaxes to do that there's no point doing it if there's a, an issue with a per part of your body you need to be gentle with yourself at all times when relaxing deeply it's important yourself as you notice your mind how much has your mind slowed down since we started this recording Peaceful is your mind right now. You have nothing to think about, and just my voice to listen to because you know the intention behind this recording is relaxation. At the very least, for you to feel more relaxed at the end of the recording than you did at the beginning. At the very least, for your mind to slow down, as your body that's what you want to happen. That's what you expect to happen. The relaxation. your 
body. Maybe calming your mind to the point of boredom. When you start maybe to drift. as if you are moving further away from your body and your mind, just leaving that there. Kind of like in a an escape pod in a spaceship, a movie, a space movie, you know, and get into that little pod and it sends them <laughs> far away from the spaceship. Focusing on that feeling of those individual parts of your body that are relaxing one by one. listening to my voice because your mind started to imagine something different maybe started to almost 
just move into some vibe of being non-static. And then you become aware of my voice again. And even though you may want to focus on my voice, you may also wish to that space of comfort and safety. As you feel more comfort spreading through your body, that sense of peace spreads through your mind. Like a gentle breeze, yet strong enough to blow away all negativity. and stress that was there before. And blow away any other thoughts or feelings that just on your mind, can you count down from 10 down to 1 and each number you hear in your mind will be 10. Just a slight moving from nine down to eight. Just another small change in how you feel. Eight down to seven. That feeling is 
mind, the mind is starting at a certain physical sensation. Almost like there's a magnet outside of your head, sucking the tension and the stress and all your mania feelings that you don't like, sucking them out through your skull. Just emptiness, but space. A place full of fresh air. A place where you can stretch. It's almost as if as you go down to four and three, your mind is expanding with this sense of peace and tranquility growing as it moves down to two and then it's one your mind just feels exactly how you want it to feel sensation that you'd like to keep, a place that's safe where nothing can affect you at all, stay in that that space of comfort and confidence confident in your own ability to create this space and this feeling of comfort within your own mind just by counting from 10 down to 1 This is something that you can do yourself when you're on your own. A time when you can maybe sit down, maybe just for a few minutes. Close your eyes. Just count. feelings in your mind. And when you feel that way in your mind, your body copies your mind. And that feeling is spread through your spine system into every part of your body, travels through your bloodstream, healing and relaxing every part of your little existence. You can practice this at all times, before the end of the recording, and then you can practice on your own. You can, you can from 10 down to 1, the feelings of comfort, calmness and 
myself
relaxing and physical thing that I think does appear to be for one allowing stress and tension to leave from the fingertips and the palms and as you focus on the fingertips maybe they feel a little bit tighter which is perfectly understandable considering the tension you've been exiting your body through your fingertips. So now I'm going to plant my pointer down to on the ground. This time I want you to feel relief of tension and stress and the anxiety that you might have. almost as if it's just releasing the whole of your stomach and your navel to this look like a flat abalone fish body and you're surrounded in your body by air for the whole hour you can feel the tension of your body whatever is left just releasing Notice that you start to become more relaxed as I do by pointing down to the mat. My pointer mountain mountain. scan of your body relaxing your body here noticing how your upper body your chest and your arms and your hands feel just noticing sense of tiredness 
Yes. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, 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 forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six